Wait, I'm not gonna buy. Let's try. <laughs> I gotta check. Ah, okay. Receiving your content. Sabi niya. Naka conscious naman. Yan. <laughs> uh, comedies. What's up, mga kuya? Oh, wait. Kailangan palito na yung music. Baka ma... Ah, hindi. Magami nating music. Ah, initial D pa rin. Okay, let's go. <laughs> NCS na tayo. Gotta... Gotta... Protect... The copyrights. Grabe ang, ang, dum, ang gulo ng gamit ko dito. Kailangan natin presentable. Hindi na presentable talaga pag green screen pero... Ayun yung ano natin. Hindi siya naka-on. Uh, nandun sa kabila, yung, sa kabila ng green screen yung keyboard. Pwede ba natin i-green screen ito? What do you think? Wait, wait, wait. Eh, anong, kinag anong camera to? Unboxing cam. Ayun, unboxing cam. So, chroma key. Select. Sobrang, sobrang ano to. <laughs> 50. Tcharan! Green screen on green screen, boys! Tinatamad ako i-adjust eh. Uh, what's up, John R? What's up, Kuya Norms? Uh, what's up, Kuya Benson? Nakunda? Ano nangyari sa, ano ko? Blink, uh, beeping, beeping si Kuya. Uh, Jim Carl Cerezo, what's up? Kuya Lionel? Eksakto ng live. Nagpatlong beses DC ako kanina pa. Buisit na PLDC. Actually, so... Asan ba yung letter? Nandito yung letter eh. May, in may information ba to? Itatakpan ko na lang yung information. Yan. Okay. So, ang sabi niya, dumating daw si PLDT para ayusin yung streaming ko. Ang sabi niya dito, nababasa ba siya? Autofocus. Autofocus. Sabi niya, unable to check your telephone internet connection because your home, office unit slash room is closed. Andito ako buong linggo, ba bumabaha. Buong ligo ako nasa bahay. Kesa natutulog, nandito lang ako sa bahay. Papanong, papanong pumunta sila? Unable to check your telephone, internet connection, because your home is closed. Hindi man sinabing you're out eh. Eh? What's going on, Koyas? What's going on, Koyas? Kailangan may Brit ano, uh, uh, Australian accent. What's going on, Koyas? So, dumating daw yung PLDT. Ano ba yan? Ang daming alarm ng mga tele gadgets ko. Ano ba yan? Um, dumating daw yung PLDT dito this week. Uh, two days ago, I think. 18 eh. Or 19? 18. Dumating nung 19. So, two days ago. 5 p.m. nakasulat dito. Paano hindi ako gising nun? 5 p.m. Thursday. Feeling ko hindi salga na Mga tamad kasi sila. I love your cup. Thank you, man. Uh, asa na ba yun? Meron pang... Asa na yun? May label pa to eh. Ayun. Boom! O oh, ha? <laughs> Ang comedy. <laughs> uh, masipag lang sila maningil. Uh, umalik lang sa Kokak GC camera stuff. Um, dami agad na sa chat. Ah. Welcome, welcome sa mga mga kuyas in the chat. No, notice me, boy says L H. Is that your name? L H or I H? <coughs> Ayun, nag na naman. Naku po! Sa ulan yan siguro. I mean, I admit, hindi naman, hindi perfect ang... ang Ay, grabe. Akala ko buhok. Um, 
maulan and mabaha. So, I admit. Pero, hindi pa rin ano eh. Uh, duma- sabi nila, dumating sila 5. Hindi ako naniniwala dun. <coughs> Puro DC si Kuya Lionel. Kawawa naman. Tamad sa serbisyo. Walang bo. <laughs> John R says, Uy, bago. <laughs> Gal- ano to eh? So, actually, so, binigay, uh, ano to eh? Galing sa event ito, pamigay. Kasi mag, ma, nakita niyo, ang haba ng buko, tignan mo. Ewan ko nakikita niyo. Grabe, ano na, eh, lumilitaw na sa likod ng cup ko yung buko eh. Kailangan ko na magpagupit, kaya alam, bumaba this week. So, sabi ko, magtipid na lang ako pa, hindi na lang ako lalabas ang buko, ng ano, sa mundo, hindi na lang ako lalabas ang mundo. Yeah, yun. Hindi ako lumabas ng mundo. Um, BTS regular salute. Salute. Um, so, ito yung bago. Ito, ito yung sort of old and sort of new unboxing. Ano natin? Unboxing camera natin. Ano pa rin naman eh? Pre-show pa rin naman eh. So, okay lang yan. Okay yan. Ah, by the way, may mga ginawa. Uh, ano ba? Gusto nyo makita. Mga mga sharing-sharing ako. Ito, ito. Galawin natin si unboxing camera. Ayan yung ating alien, Aliware laptop. Nandiyan yan. Ayan. Meron lang siyang, ano, meron lang siyang dust, dust, ano, dust cover sa keyboard. Kaya hindi, hindi, hindi maputi yung keyboard niyan, okay? Dust cover yan. Um, and then, meron akong, ah, hindi nyo masyado makita. May clock dito, ayun, 9.53 pa lang. Ano yan? Isa sa mga luma kong an- isa sa mga Android tablets ko. Uh, so eh, ang problema ng nitong Android tablet na to actually nung binili ko, ano na isabog na yung baterya. So ano na siya, halos nakakabit na lang siya sa kuryente and then ano na lang siya. Uh, relo siya and also ginagamit ko siyang remote ng isa sa mga uh, cameras ko. Ito well, this is the uh, This is the Nvidia Shield. Uh, wala lang yan, minsan Minsan ginagamit ko rin yan for camera remote. Yan, yun yan yan. Ito wala yan, ano yan? Uh, phone. Wala lang. Tapos, uh, ito yung, ewan ko kung magiging permanent, but, uh, yan, yan. O, oh, ba? Professional tong programa natin. Teka lang, tanggalin natin yung uh, green screen natin. Ihiya ako sa kabulukan ng green screen configuration natin. Yan, o, oh, ba? Look at this! Look at this! Huh? Look at this production value, huh? That is amazing wood! Huh? Actually, mura lang siyang table galing sa Lazada, but... Uh, yun yan. O, oh, diba? Cool! O, oh, dito tayo. O, oh, diba? Wow! Parang Randolph Novino! Levels! O, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, nako uh, So, ano ba? Kailangan ba natin mag-discuss ng topics? 9.55, no? Wow um, Inom muna ako So, ma- magandang gabi mga kuya Anong uh, Good PM po, Sir Alex Maganda po ba ako? Huawei Mate 9 Di ba last, last Ano ba yun? Medyo late na yun, ah Uh, yun yung ating uh, drinks ah, if you wanna see my uh, yes look at that oh, yes oh, galaw natin yung table yes look at that thing oh no yeah <laughs> ano ginagawa ko yeah, 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 yeah. there you go Oh my god. Oh my god, gumagalaw yung aking web camera. Uh, kailangan mag-tighten ng... yon. There we go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yan, yan. Yung, yan yung pedal ng ating uh, steering Logitech G27. And then yung ating uh, steering wheel and uh, shifter. nag ka ako ngayon sa racing games. So... Sobrang ang sarap maglaro ng racing games mga kuya. Lalo kung meron ka ng steering wheel at shifter, no? 
Unbox ko na. Uh, teka lang, alas 10 yung simula ng show eh. Wala pa namang alas 10 ko yan. Uh, Sean Beleza. Ano na, bes? Gagal si kuya. Don't angry, kuya. 10 o'clock ang start ng show. Uh, Opo, Sir Alex, maganda po ba? Huawei Mate 9. Wait lang. Okay, para sa'yo. Uh, yun ay pag-usapan natin while we're uh, while we're doing this thing. Alright. Huawei Mate 9. Magkano mo makukuha? Okay naman ang mga Huawei, dude. Pero sa presyo, hindi ako pasado. Hindi ko gusto. Um, there's a lot of other devices na na mura. So, kung sa presyo lang, kung, pare, kung, kung makukuha mo ng murang murang mura, okay lang. Pero kung hindi masyadong mura, joke lang. <laughs> Wait lang, kuya. Alas, Jis. Magsimula tayo ng unboxing, kuya. Actually, curious din ako kasi ano ito pala ito? Uh, Mediatek. Some, Mediatek something-something. Wala akong masyadong ni-research. Actually, p- pwede natin tingnan. Magkano ba siya? Uh, 6A ito eh. So, Helio P22. So, kaya, nor, ang, nung una, nung sabi kong pinadala sa akin to, hindi ko na lang yan, box at iyan, tutu sa show. Kasi, sabi ko, ang dami na natin in-unbox. Medyo hindi, hindi ako curious sa performance niya. Hindi na masyadong interesting. Pero since hindi masyadong kilala tong Helio, ano to? Helio A22, hindi pala P22. Helio A22 processor, Sabi ko maganda matest kahit pa paano sa show Para maraming, may, siguro naman may curious pa rin dito May curious ba? Taas yung, taas yung kamay Say, 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 uh, kokakness Kung gusto nyo malaman yung performance ni 6A uh, Sir Alex, pakigreet naman po si Emong Patrick Tsaka si Randy uh, pa, gre- Greetings, good evening kay Emong Patrick and Randy. Yun, there you go. Uh, Sean Shani, what's up? Wizdek, what's up? So, Huawei Mate 9. Well, ba't dito tayo? Punta tayo sa specs na lang. Uh, Kirin 960. Mataas-taas yung processor na Kirin 960. So, totoo lang. Uh, starts with 4 gigs of RAM, 64 storage. Upgradable to Oreo. <clears throat> yep, as I expected, uh, it's a last year's flagship. So, mataas-taas yung specs. <coughs> with a re- very big display, no? And then, classic pa to na 16 by 9 ratio. Hindi pa siya yung super wide or anything. Uh, actually, no, wala akong complaints dito bukod sa siguro, well, ay, may OIS ito. Wait. Ah, o nga pala. Ito yung isa sa mga... Right. si tingnan mo. Tingnan mo lang. Tingnan mo lang to. Bakit an, yung mga telepono na, na luma, may OIS, pero yung telepono bago, walang OIS? Ito mo, may OIS, oh. Ewan? Ewan? Kuya, ewan? Ewan? Pero 1080p display. So, medyo bitin ka sa display. Even though normal na yung 1080p ngayon. Uh, ano meron kay Kuya Norms? May nilink si Kuya Norms. Buksan natin. Intel Amber Lake Y. 5W TDP? Wait, really? Anong ano nito? Bakit uh, kaya nilang 15W? Mas- ano ba siya? 11 nanometer? Eh, 10 nanometer? Hindi. Okay Interesting Okay Hopefully soon makakita na tayo ng ganitong Amber Lake Gusto ko yung pangalan Amber Lake Ay wait lang nasa ano pala tayo I'm watching my own stream here Pampadagdag ng views <laughs> Pakigwit si Joshua Daluz Tsaka Mine po Mine? Mine? Po, salamat. Uh, uh, greeting kay, good evening kay Joshua Daluz, tsaka Mini. Mini, Mini Daluz? Mine Daluz? Mini? Fujiko Mini? Um, Alright, so... <laughs> uh, Sir Alex, ano po available na phone nyo na binibenta? Uh, kuya yung poor sales mo pala. Hindi ko pa na-update eh. Gusto nyo ba ng ano? Um... Okay, so quick quick ano lang kung gusto niyo malaman ko ano yung pwede ko ibenta. Hindi hindi naman so nag-advertise ako na bebenta, no. Hindi hindi ko hindi 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 for sale. Hindi for sale show it. <laughs> this is not a show na for sale for sale group lang ad, uh, advertisement lang para magkapera ako or what not, no. Uh, pero kung interesado kayo, uh, meron akong uh, 
Siguro ibebenta ko soon kasi hindi ko pa na hindi ko pa na iiimpake i- nandito yan somewhere mga gadgets na yon. Um, if you want an Infinix Note 4 or Infinix Note 4 Pro ba yon? Meron ako dito, baka ibenta ko. Uh, actually ibebenta ko at some point. Hindi ko lang naliligpit pa, no? Um, and then may isa pa eh. Ano pa yon? Um Mediatek kasi yung dalawang Infinix na yun eh. But if you're interested, mababa akong magpresyo. Hindi, hindi naman sa, like I said, di ako nag-advertise. That's why ayaw kong masyadong pinag-uusapan dito yan. Kasi alam mo naman yung pag nalaman ng tao yan, sabi, paparapol mo na lang kuya, paparapol mo na lang. Um, mahirap, mahirap yung ganun. <laughs> hindi tayo mayaman. <laughs> um, ano pa ba? Mayroon pang isa eh, nakalimutan ko tuloy. Um, mayroon pang isa eh. Ano nga ba? Pansamantala yun na muna. Uh, yung, yung Infinix, yung dalawa. Hindi ko matandaan kung anong... May isa pa akong telepono na pwede ibenta eh. But... Yan, pariguro. Charge ko muna yung aking headset. Sean Beliza. Beleza. Good evening po. <laughs> good evening din sa'yo. Ahem... <clears throat> Mine, oh. inulit mo lang sinabi mo Mine, my name, Mine <laughs> Ano binabasa natin? Huawei Mate 9? Yeah, if you can get the Huawei Mate 9 at a good price, okay naman Wala naman ako reklamo Pero kung hindi maganda yung price Hindi ako bibili For example, may hirapan ka sa f- software updates Kasi hindi siya Android 1 Or hindi siya, hindi siya well-known brand na nag-update ng phone sila um, Pero in terms of build quality In terms of design In terms of camera performance uh, magandang maganda maganda naman ng Huawei uh, expect, expect mo lang talaga na may, may limitations yung brand May limitations yung ano And medyo overpriced siya at uh, nung na-launch siya so. <coughs> The poor sales shop Ano bang pwede natin gawin? Do we go full screen, single screen, single camera, single webcam? Yan, full, full screen, single webcam Ang ganda na, ang dami na natin, ano, alam mo ba, okay, so just in case you wanna know, uh, kung, kung natatandaan nyo last week, uh, nagkaroon tayo ng technical difficulties when streaming to YouTube because of a PLD, uh, and I figured out why, it looks like PLDT is blocking YouTube streaming for me, hindi ko alam kung, ang kailangan, kailangan ko i-testing for, ev- for more than one person eh, yung sa akin lang kasi na-testing ko eh. So, I can conclusively say, at least for my internet connection, naka-block yung YouTube streaming sa akin right now, directly to YouTube. So, as uh, same as before, same as last week, right now you are we are streaming through the power of me sending my data to another middleman server, a mirror server, and then bouncing it back into YouTube para makapag-stream tayo sa YouTube right now. Um... Yun, ang, yun yung reason bakit dumating yung technician ng PLDT. According to them, dumating yung technician ng PLDT dito sa, sa bahay two days ago at 5pm at sabi wala daw ako or sabi sarado daw yung pinto. So, hopefully, tatawag ulit ako sa PLDT and then we'll see what happens kung ma-clear nila yung feel, ano lang yan eh, parang blo- ano, port block yan or, or actually traffic block yan to streaming to uh, YouTube servers eh. So um ano ba sasabihin? So ang potential niyan, ang potential niyan is i-unblock nila 'yon. If they if they if dapat gawin nilang i-block 'yon kasi for I've been streaming to YouTube using PLDT for years. So ang problem niyan is ang connotation niyan is it's possible na they're now starting to block streaming to YouTube on PLDT Fiber which is an- anong anong gusto me- medyo pangit na news yan gusto mo bang kasi apektado ako iano ko yan ibablog ko yan kung kung hindi na ayos or i i i hindi naman hindi naman hindi parang bina-blackmail ko kayo hindi ko bina-blackmail na ibablog ko yan what i mean is ipapublicize ko yung point na para malaman ng tao Para malaman ng sambayanan, Pilipinas, na kung ba- yung, yung servisyo na binabayaran mo is mabablock yung streaming to YouTube, kailangan malaman yan. I am for, I, uh, alam nyo naman ako, I am for transparency, uh, 
internet openness uh, and improve para sa ating mga tech 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 people to eh para sa mga mga mga, mga hindi naman nerds but more like techies na lang para sa ating mga techies ito eh because lahat ng pinaglalaban natin is for techies to have their freedoms to have better access to internet or open access to internet hindi dahil sa nakakapag Facebook kayo nakakapag YouTube viewing kayo or what not pwede na Kasi bawat isa niyan, bawat isang feature na tinatanggal ni PLDT or Globe, whoever, sino man, is another service na binabawas sa ating mga techies. Diba? So, every single bawas nila, kahit hindi kayo affected, dahil ako lang yung affected, because let's say, wala namang inter- walang interesado sa inyo mag-stream. Bakit? Sa tingin mo, sa dalawang daan, limang libong people, ang mababang sir, amount of people lang, there are people who want to stream to YouTube. So, it starts with one person. Kung hindi, kung iaalaw natin, yung sarili ko, for example, me, is very special case, very niche case, uh, na nagsistream sa YouTube regularly, block mo ko, papano pa, yung ibang tao na balak mag-stream in the long run. And, since nagbablock na sila ng ganito, ano yung... Ano yung end goal nila? O ano mangyayari next time? Ibablock nila yung Twitch? Ibablock nila yung Facebook? Ibablock nila yung uh, uh, ano, Twitter? Ano, ano yung ano, Periscope? Ano pa yung mga streaming platform? Bukod doon, ano pa yung pwede nilang i-block? Kasi, they're already blocking services. So, hindi lang ako apektado dito. Eventually, since if they can get away with blocking streaming to YouTube on people like me and walang pag walang kumaka, walang nag walang uh, uh, nagsasalita walang nagrereklamo kung nawalang nagrereklamo dire-diretso sila they're gonna block something else kung walang nagreklamo they're gonna block something else again kung walang nagreklamo doon bablock na naman sila so that's going to be a problem in the long run we have to tell them straight up from the start na don't remove our freedoms don't remove our internet capabilities kasi binabayaran natin yan ando na ako sa band, nasa bleeding edge ako admittedly wala 99 99.5% of people don't do what i do with the internet right but hindi ko sin- 99.5% sa isang daan sa dalawang daan tao may isang taong 99.5% so, may mga uh, may affected nito. Pero bukod doon, like I said, eventually, may gagawin si PLDT na ibablock ni iba pang bagay. Kasi walang nagre-reklamo eh. As long as walang nagre-reklamo, gagawin niya yun. Alam mo naman, gano'n naman yun eh. Kahit naman sa Amerika, gagawin nila yun. Eh, for, all for more profit, di ba? So, what we need to do as consumers, as uh, ako, lang, ako na lang, let's say ako na lang, what I need to do as a consumer, as maybe a little bit of a, uh, vlogger or medyo ano medyo in, hindi man influencer more like somebody who people listens to to uh, konti, a few people listen to na lang some of you guys and then yung some people who watch my youtube some people reads my blog at least kailangan nating magkaroon ng ma, ma- vocalize yung issues natin with this kind of service and we we need to make sure that uh this kind of treatment, this kind of service, this kind of locking us out of services is unacceptable at any level. Tinanggal, <laughs> tinanggal ni nila yung Pornhub. So, okay, fine. That's a that's government mandated law to block Pornhub, hindi ba? But blocking streaming to YouTube is is wrong. So, hanggang ngayon, that's been Ever since nangyari yan, ever since na-realize ko, Saturday, nakablock na ako. Hindi ko pa na-testing yung during the week. But at least the earliest I realized na nakablock ako sa YouTube streaming is Saturday. And then up to today, which is another Saturday, that's an entire seven, day, uh, uh, seven days, tinesting ko yan every day. Cannot stream to YouTube directly. So, uh, taman ta- dapat talaga dumating itong PLDT technician na to at kinausap ko siya na maayos. I- admittedly, kahit dumating yung technician, feeling ko mahirap siyang i- mahirap i-explain ko ano problema. 
Kasi yung technician parang ah, alam ko lang magkabit ng fiber eh. Tapos tatawag ako sa tatawag ako sa system ano para i-check kung gumagana na yung kinabit kong fiber. And then yun na lang, yun lang yung trabaho niya. And, I I'm doing what I can to uh, ano ba to 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 give PLDT the benefit of the doubt that they will fix the issues with their with streaming to YouTube. Um, and then ito naintindihan ko ng konti yung yung technician nila kasi bumabagyo. But I'm not gonna give much more chances afterwards kung hindi pa siya dumating kung hindi na bumabagyo. Uh, it is a major ma- very major service that is being blocked for a niche audience but like I said mangyayari yan at mangyayari eventually lahat na ng services natin blocked. Um, sad to say saying ang ba- sayang ang budget. Uh, Sir Alex ano po mga phone niyo say ano ah, nabasa ko na yan. Uh, pa- pa- parang sa Sky Cable na kukuha ka ng plan. Lo haba ng balba. <laughs> What's up ain't catastrophe. Ano magandang brand ng power bank na mataas ang MAH? May video ako about uh, the power banks na ni-review ko. Ah. These are not bad. Um the Morui. These are these are not bad. May video ako, guys. Sometimes you watch our YouTube channel, okay? Please. <laughs> Please watch my YouTube channel. All right. Um may power bank yung 2K milliamp hours or Jaguar na. Hindi 2,000. Baka ano, baka 20,000 na sinasabi mo. Um, Alright, so let's start the show. Welcome to the show. My name is Alex from Technoclass.com. You know that already. Um, ang show natin today, uh, today is Saturday... Uh, oh, wow. July 21 na. Wow. Uh, let me go to the starting soon. Kaya lang hindi, hindi ko pa nakuha yung picture natin ng topics. Sorry, sorry. Uh, adjust natin yan. Adjust, adjust. Tignan nyo naman. Ang ga- <laughs> Look at the quality. Uh, dito na lang pala ako magta-topics. Look at the quality of this show. Ah. Dami na nating scenes. Meron tayong dual camera. Meron tayong full camera. Ha? Huh? The quality on this show, ha? Ah. Um, Asan na yung aking... Ayun, ayun, ayun. ayun. Alin dito? Gusto nyo makita yung green screen na ko, ano yan? Well, alam nyo na naman yan, old, old school na yan. Ayan, yeah, no green screen. Ako, nag-lag tayo konti. Bababa ko yung bitrate ng konti. Yan ang problema sa current mirror natin, may lag ng konti. Alright, bababa ko yung bitrate natin. Ay, nako. Kuya naman. PLDT, please fix your internet. Please fix your streaming. Kasi... Hindi perfect itong solution natin right now on how we're streaming to YouTube right now. And that fr- that's frustrating, ano? Iba- Ibaba ko talaga? Ibaba ko talaga ng sobra? Hindi, okay na siguro yan. Okay na siguro yan. Uh, mag-start pa lang pala, hahasakto. Yes, mag-start pa lang, kuya. 20k MH, I'd say. Um, more news pa rin like KMMDA addict. Ang tag dito. Si Gadget Addict, ano? Bising busy. Alright, um, so welcome to the show. Our topics include... Sa kanina, guy? Siyempre, kinilose ko, di ba? Our topics are... There we go. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Our topics are... Uh, super ba. <laughs> Uh, the Xiaomi Redmi 6, uh, the Xiaomi Redmi 6A, which we will unbox uh, right now, okay? Uh, yung mga, sino yung si Shaba yun, nagre-request ng unboxing, we unbox right now. Uh, and then actually, interesting, si uh, Asus has come up with a, a 40,000 peso gaming laptop with the GTX 1050. Malakas si GTX 1050, so that's very promising. Um, ang, ang spoiler dyan is, it uses ultra-low voltage processor, so... Uh, it's not the <clears throat> full power processors for laptops, but it's still promising because sometimes you don't need uh, high power processors on gaming. Um, Asus 40K, uh, like I said, Asus 40K gaming laptop. Also, Mi 8 Philippines has been announced. It will come in, sabi nila July, right? End of July. 
So that's another interesting thing kasi isa na naman, sobrang natatempt akong bumili nun eh. Um, how about Huawei Nova 3i? Hindi ba napag-usapan ba natin last week? <clears throat> bumili po kami ng Asus. Ah, nice. 40K, 1050, i5U processor. Nice. Kamusta yung uh, Asus mo, Sir Ains? <clears throat> Sir, available pa ba Moto X mo? No. I'm keeping my Moto X. Nasaan na ba yun? Ikaw ba, Kuya Randy, yung gusto bumili nito dati? Na hindi natuloy? Hindi ko na ibebenta. Nandun sa ano, nasa likod, nasa likod ng green screen. Nilagyan po namin ng M.2 Samsung Evo yung Asus laptop. That's good. That's good. Right. Alright, so other thing is Galaxy J8. Mag- matitrigger lang naman ako or maybe matitrigger kayo. But, uh, ganun talaga eh. Ako gusto ko sanang, uh, sa totoo lang, maraming fans ng Samsung. And if you check my videos, meron talagang nanonood ng Samsung videos. Especially in the Philippines. Yung mga mid-range pro- phones sila. Siguro, ang alam ko lang, feeling ko maraming ayaw mag, ayaw mag, you know, ayaw magsubok. Ayaw mag, uh, alam mo naman, medyo hindi sila masyadong teki And, ayaw nilang masyadong uh, mag-risk, ano? Kasi malay mo, malayo sila sa, malayo sila sa mall, malayo sila sa syudad. Kung bibili ka ng telepono na hindi mo masyadong kilala, like, like, sabihin na natin hindi masyadong kilala yung Xiaomi sa kanila. Kung sa probinsya nila, or sa, kung saan man sila nakatira, wala silang kilala na Xiaomi, for example. Alam nila may Samsung. And then, siguro merong Samsung store sa malapit sa kanila. ba? Isipin nyo yun. So, hindi masyadong... There are people na interested pa rin sa Samsung phones. Even though, dito sa ating medyo co- highly connected, highly modern, connected, very online world natin. Mababa yung specs ni Samsung. But we'll talk about the, the specs on that later. So, yun ang topics natin for today. I believe meron pa tayong isa, the, the Nokia X6 ba yun? Um, which is the Nokia 6.1 ata, officially. So, those are the topics for today. We'll start unboxing na dito sa no, uh, Redmi 6A kasi alam ko excited na kayo. At least one person is excited. <laughs> Alright, let's get to that. Keep in mind, ang unboxing medyo maraming boring bits because hindi siya lahat, ano. Uh, it's not always benchmarks and whatnot. Benchmarks. Tignan nyo nga naman yung dual camera natin. Di ba? High tech. Um, <clears throat> DDR4 is expensive. Uh, 4GB RAM po. Next time na po RAM ko lang sa budget. Buti upgradable siya. I didn't know it was upgradable. That's good. If it's upgradable, if the RAM is upgradable and the SSD is upgradable, then that's a very good laptop because may future-proofing siya ng content. <clears throat> Sir, magandang phone po yung gusto nyong... Ano? Sir, anong magandang phone po yung gusto nyong bilhin yung slot? Ako ba? Ako ba yung sinasabi mong gusto kong bilhin? Martin New, hey, what's up? Si Kuya... <laughs> Um, sa province namin, Oppo, Vivo, and Samsung, Apple lang ang kila- kilala. Nova 3i. Uh, hindi ba, napag-usapan na ba natin yung Nova 3i? Uh, anyway, kung gusto nyo pag-usapan si Nova 3i, itanda ko na lang. Pag-usapan natin siya. Idol love mo po ba? Sinong love ka? <laughs> Anong phone gusto kong bilhin na slightly used? Uh, ang gusto kong bilhin slightly used, siguro ano, LG G6. Mura lang eh. Alright, let's do this. Ahem. Hindi magan... Nakakatakot din talaga mag-unbox ng ganito. Kasi minsan, ayoko masira yung box. Oh my God, please. Mat- matalim na matalim itong knife na to. Sa totoo lang. And may, may times na nakakasira siya ng box. Dahil kung, kung hindi ka nag-iingat, sobrang talim niya. Let's do this, come on. Actually, bahala na nga. Hmm. Hindi naman kailangan malinis yung ating unboxing, di ba? <coughs> Dell G3 po sana. First choice namin kaso out of stock. Ah, I see. Okay naman yung Dell G3, I think. Mas maganda yung G5 and G7. Although walang G5 sa Pilipinas. You know? That's how... Uh, uh, nakakatawa tong... <laughs> tong knife na to eh. 
Sino po, uh, nag, nag, uh, pinag-aaralan ko pa paano siyang buksan at sara ng, ng, isang, ng isang kamay lang. Medyo mahirap yung, yung opening. Yung closing mas madali. Oh my God. Nakakatakot kasi matalim siya eh. There we go. There we go. Yes. Pro. Okay, Redmi 6A. Global version. Eh. Nagpa-focus hunt ang camera ko. I know. Sorry. Gusto nyo bang i-fix focus ko siya? Maganda ba Xiaomi Mi Band 3? I think yes. Uh, I have the Xiaomi Mi Band 2. So, it is a, it is promising naman. Redmi 6A, 5.45 inch HD plus display, 18 by 9 quad core processor, 12 nanometer technology. Oh, 12 nanometer na pala to. Um, 3000 mAh battery. Gusto niyo bang i-force ko yung focus ni camera? It will take 1 minute to to change focus, pero I think we're fine so far. Uh, so inside the box we have a Redmi user guide. There we go. Iba talaga, ang ganda talaga ng packaging ng ni Xiaomi. Kahit na sobrang mura, magkano tong Redmi 6A? Redmi 6A is priced at Ah, ilang gigs to? 2 gig ter uh, so 2 gig ano to? Anong version nito? Ilang gigs ito? Wait, come on. Ah, 2 gig 16 ito. 2 gig 16. So, this is 5,290 pesos. So, this is 5,000 pesos. Pero, tignan nyo yung packaging niya. Ang ganda. Uh, so, you get this sim this whatever thing. Uh, yung charger niya looks like a slightly... Uh, ano ba to? Belogin. So, kailangan mo ng konting adapter for this. And then, we have the USB cable. Normal. And then, we have the SIM eject ejector tray. Walang headphones, it seems like. Wala ata. Um, you would expect that kasi sobrang mura na ng ganitong gadget. So, don't expect headphones na, mga kuya. Alright, let's get to the phone. <clears throat> Sorry, tumatalikod ako kasi na dun yung, yung preview ng camera. Alright, so here we go. Um, is this plastic or ano, or bakal? It feels plastic, but it, it looks bakal. So, there's a warning here. Do not disassemble this device. Nandito yung, uh, sh uh, ano ba tawag dito? I may numbers natin. Do you think, uh, so hindi na, since may sim poker tray siya, um, sim poker thing ang majig, hindi siya talaga na, no? ano ba yan? Ang daldal ko? Tama na nga yung daldal, buksan na natin. Kailang, tanggalin natin yung sticker, no? There we go. Alright, so there we go. There's the, ang ganda ng design ng Xiaomi. It's very minimalist, sa so totoo lang. There we go. I'm turning it on. Paano tanggalin ito? Kuya. There we go. Alright. Gusto nyo ng close-up? <laughs> LG G4? <laughs> Kuya, okay. Ganito na lang. Kuya Randy Alonso, please, uh, go to uh, join the BTS group chat on Facebook. Please. Parami kang matatanong. Ang G4 ko nabenta na matagal na. Like two years ago. Kung, ma, <laughs> kung marami ka pang tanong tungkol sa mga for sale na gadgets, please go to BTS Community Group Chat. Um, Alright. MIUI 9 Lightning Fast. Okay. Use US. Ah, hindi. Dapat Philippines. Wait. Hindi, hindi. Y yun yung language. And then Philippines. Ito yung boring parts ng unboxing mga kuya. Just setting up. Buti na lang mabilis-bilis internet natin, we can download uh, Antutu and whatnot later. Alright, I'm gonna log into my Wi-Fi. Alright. So it has rounded corners. Wait lang, tignan natin yung ano. Terms and conditions, okay. Checking for SIM card. Don't don't check for SIM card. All right, let's look at the specs on the Leno. Uh, so it has a 5.45 inch HD plus. So this is not full HD. Um, 18 by 9 ratio, 1440 by 720p resolution. Set up as new. So this is not full HD. It's 5.45 inch. So, medyo mid, uh, mid, mid range yung size ng display, no? Close up pa tayo ng konti. 
<clears throat> Alright. Yan, bago gusto nyo ng super close-up eh. And then, oh, Google account. Normally, hindi na ako naglalagin, but since gusto nyo ng mga Antutu score, I'm naglalagin ako sa Google account ko para makapag-install tayo ng Antutu mga kuya. Ay, nako, mali yung spelling. <laughs> Ang login ko, nali lang. <laughs> Wait lang. <laughs> Back. Yo, okay, spelling na. Alright. Chill lang kayo mga kuya. May Discord ba ang Technoclass? Wala, sir. But, uh, gusto niyo ba ng Discord? Sino nagdi-Discord? Ha? Huh? Let me know kung sinong interesado ng Discord, no? Okay. I need to check my phone for two-factor authentication. Yes. Allow? Ay, hindi allow. Bak? Oh my God, maglalagi na naman ako. Do -do. Sorry. <clears throat> Next. Okay. Yes. Okay. Don't allow. I agree. All right. Here we go. Um, I don't love po ba ako? I don't know. Are you attractive female? <laughs> Paul sa FB question mark. Pwede, subukan natin. I don't know though. Hindi masyadong maraming PC gamers uh, sa community. But I'll ask, I'll ask. We can ask. Uh, ako nagdi-discord, sabi ni Kuya Norms. Pwede tayo mag-discord, but I don't know what to, we'll use it for masyado. Are you gamers? Uh, Google Assistant, get started. Ay, dapat na skip ko na lang. Whatever. Continue. Done. Uh, ako po may account sa Discord pero web stuff lang sinalihan ko. Well, obviously that's that's typical bench. So this is why I usually don't do actual unboxings because ang an daming uh ang daming chichipureche especially kung Asus phone dati, puro updates kasi si Asus puro bloatware dati. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, just let me use the freaking phone. God. Skip! 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 Uh, set password. Okay, so wala tayo. Looks like wala tayo fingerprint, no? Uh, screen lock. Yeah, it was screen lock, no. And, yep. 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 Uh, choose a theme. Default. Finally! Jesus Christ! Ah, medyo na water down na yung Mountain Dew ko sa dami ng yelo. <clears throat> Chill lang. <laughs> Ang tagal eh. Ang daming setup ko yes. <clears throat> eh, naglo eh, nako. Naglo-load ng apps. Naglo-load ng apps. Daming bloatware <laughs> yung Zenfone Max. Yeah, thankfully yung mga bagong Zenfones wala na masyadong bloat ko yeah. But, uh, Nakaka, nakaka sakit pa rin ng ulo yung dating Zenfones as far as, far as bloatware is concerned. Um, buti na lang nabawasan na sa modern models ng Zenfone. Yes, indeed. Ano po SRP? So, this is the Redmi uh, 6X. Ano? Nasaan yung 6X? Ito. Redmi 6A. Pucha, naglo-load. Tingnan nyo to. Well, anyway. Uh, si Xiaomi ganito naman yung problema. Yung, uh, ayun, natapos na. Oh, eh? What? <gasps> Come on, please. Ano nangyari? There we go. Jesus Christ. MediaTek, yes. It is a MediaTek A22. Um, para ba natin yan, no? Shit. <laughs> Ayo, hindi ma masyado matrabaho. Gusto ko sana ilagay yung, yung, ano, yung specs sa screen eh. Kaya lang masyado matrabaho ko yun. Subukan natin. Wala lang. Trip lang. Uh, 
Video capture device. Okay. Stream engine. Bakit? 720p lang ba yung stream engine ko? Palpak. Wait! 720p yung stream engine ko? That's not good. And... <laughs> Ah, nababasa niyo ba yan? <laughs> 720 by 3 Teka lang, kailangan natin malaman Ito, okay So, tignan niyo tong text na to Is it high quality or hindi? Uh, 720p lang ba siya? I don't know Parang malinaw naman siya, no? Ah, malinaw naman. I think 1080p pa rin. Okay, good. Alright. Eh, sorry, sorry. Na-distract tayo ng konti. There's the specs if you wanna see. Um, galing sa Yuga Tech, no? 822, 2 gigs of RAM, medyo bitin. Uh, 16 gigs itong variant natin. Uh, 13 megapixel, 5 megapixel, dual SIM, LTE, um, Android 8.1. And uh, what not oh, Bakit nagbe-beep yung ano ko Sinacharge ko naman siya Niloloko ko nito Let's go back to the dual cam <clears throat> Inis ako sa 18 by 9 trend Napaka Imbis na mag cheap phones Na may type C Naging priority 18 by 9 Yeah Sad Alright Let's get to this phone uh, Let's see here So Xiaomi Mi UI 9 Obviously eh, Smooth naman Ito yung gusto kong patayin Itong Volt um, isa, sa, sa mga bagong phones ng Xiaomi Or sa updated phones ng Xiaomi Meron silang disable yung volt eh. Eh, Okay, na, nararamdaman ko ng konti yung konting lag no? Hindi siya 60fps dito Hindi siya 60fps dito Ano ba, nag-update pa siya, hindi naman Kalang Hindi, nag Wait, ano nangyayari sa headphones ko? Nag Kailangan ko i-charge Sa ibang, sa ibang charging port Mukhang hindi malakas yung charging ng isa There we go Selan ng headphones ko Selan? Alright, sorry, sorry <laughs> Alam nyo, the more, the more things you put the, the more gadgets, the more technology you have in the live stream There's more things that could fail Your headphone, battery, your webcams Or two webcams, green screen, live stream technologies Alright, uh, let's see here. May konting lag siya dito, especially dito sa um, scrolling nitong uh, settings area. Dito sa dito sa main screen, sa home screen, okay, okay lang. Pero nung load itong Volt, so, super lag nung nag-load yung Volt. I don't like that. I don't like the Volt, so totoo lang. It's kind of super bloatware shit to me. This Volt piece of shit. Sorry, medyo. Kaila, uh, ano, uh, sorry, YouTube. Don't demonetize me. Uh, let's go to ano ito? Uh, so ibang and uh, sa ibang Xiaomi phones, you can disable the what's it called the whatever thing that on the left thing. Let's see uh, display. I think nasa display on uh, text side double screen to be auto rotate, raise to wake, contrast and colors. No. Uh, also, you can change the the placement of the back button and the recents button. Saan yung ano? Ato more. Wala, wala doon. So, sometimes, wala. Sometimes, you can't disable the the, the thing on the left na nakakasal. Quad-core lang kasi. Uh, yeah, yung mga 25-30 FPS. Uh, additional settings, let's see. Date and time, region, authorization, quick ball. Uh, ayoko nyan. Aim to quick ball yung ano yun. Button and gesture shortcuts, headphones, audio effects. Wala. I don't think we can disable it right now. But on certain on certain Xiaomi phones, you can disable this stupid thing, stupid, stupid bloatware thing that I hate that, that serves no freaking purpose, other than to make your phone lag. Um, all right, so we have the typical Xiaomi user interface dito. Uh, no, no, no app drawer. So lahat ng apps mo nandit sa home screen. Uh, if you want, you can do this. And then, meron ka ng app drawer. Yay! Fake app drawer. Uh, I called it the Kohak drawer. I just put all my other apps in there as my fake Kohak drawer. Anyway, uh, 
relatively smoothish naman itong home screen except pag balik mo dito sa ano tag dito i forgot the name of this piece of crap na nasa ano natin but whatever that thing it's laggy um the the display is decent size and decent quality i think yung viewing angles niya i think is not bad it also has yung uh, rounded rounded display corners na uso ngayon i don't know why um and then Meron ba siyang notification LED na nakita ko or IR LED yun? The build quality is pretty good. Uh, very uh, Honestly, for 5,000 pesos, this is, you know, yung build quality ng Xiaomi is one of the top. Top build quality um, for for 5,000 peso phones. Um, oh yeah, mag install tayo ng Antutu while we're waiting. Ano? So I'm just to install Antutu. Uh, Antutu score. Ano? Uso pa ba ang Tutu? <laughs> Uso pa ba? Si ang Tutu. Alright. Installing na. Installing. Si, uh, natatanda ko yung mga livestream ni B-Boy. Isang, isang oras ka lahat eh. Kasi lahat yung testing sa livestream. Alright. So, we're now installing ang Tutu. Nagda-download na siya. Sandali lang yun. Doesn't gonna take, it's not gonna take much longer. So, the build quality is very nice. We have the micro USB port, head, uh, microphone right there. Uh, tatlong ports, uh, tatlong slots sa kaliwa, or dalawang slots sa kaliwa, which has one SIM, another SIM, and micro SD. So, you can put in two SIM slots, uh, two SIMs, nano, and then one micro SD. So, that's a total of three cards. So, very nice for this kind of price point phone. You get three cards inside. Uh, power and volume uh, buttons are on the right side. You know, man. Okay, naman siya. Decent, decent click. This is what? This is like LG G5 plastic. Yung ano? Yung quality ng likod. Um, uh, honestly, I felt worse feeling devices in my hand for sure. Um, this is pretty good. Yun lang talaga slightly laggy. I sa home screen pa lang tayo. Eh. Um, Alright, let's go to battery and performance. Let's see if we can maximize this thing. Wala. Saving power in the background. No, no, no. Wala siyang, wala siyang, wala siyang parang performance mode or or uh, battery saving mode. No. It's all it's all performance right now. So this is the best performance we can get off this. Plus, it only has 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of storage. So, mm, all right, let's do Antutu. Oh my God, naglaunch yun. Ah, ang bagal. <laughs> ah, lag. Nakita niyo yun? Jesus Christ. This is not for me, boys. Oh, we have a new subscriber. Aman Loana, thank you for subscribing. Panalo sa presyo. Oh yeah, so so yung uh, SIM slots and whatnot is pretty nice. Uh, what can we do? Watch a YouTube video? That's on YouTube niya. YouTube. There you go. There's a little bit of loading. <laughs> uh, login tayo sa YouTube channel natin. There we go. Uh, Alright, let's watch our live stream na mahiwaga. Oh yeah, let's listen to our sound, uh, our, our speakers. Ah, not bad. Medyo malakas lakas yung speakers eh. Oh my god, the lag. Can you see that? Can you see the lag? Just call dice. It's not, it's not even 30 FPS. Wait, bakit top chat? Ay, yung problema ng YouTube, top chat, top chat, pauso pa eh. Can you see the lag? Yeah. Yeah, you can see the lag. You can see it with your eyes. Uh, let's go to maps. Ay, wag, ayoko. Makamakita nyo kung saan ako nakatira. <laughs> let's take a photo. Alright. This is definitely not for techies. Or de definitely not for people na looking for performance or anything, you know. I'm not gonna complain at all. I mean, 5,000 pesos eh. But, 
it's still kind of you know disappointing. You get you get like this kind of thing from a MediaTek processor. You know, uh, I don't know. Ano ba ano ba pwedeng gawin sa five thousand pesos? Sorry, sponsored by Mountain Dew ata tayo. Uh, nakikita niyo ba yung camera? And selfie tayo. Wow! Juan Carlos Bagnell likes! <laughs> uh, let me see those photos on the left. <clears throat> Binaba ko yung brightness ah, just in case you wanna, you're, you don't... Now we will doon kayo sa display natin, mababa yung brightness yung... Alright, allow... Okay, let me see these photos. Oh man, the lag though. It is definitely not 60 FPS. Hmm. I don't know if you can see. Don't worry, mago auto focus si, si webcam. Mago auto focus si webcam, maybe. Maybe. There we go. There's my selfie. I don't know if you can see if it's quality or not. Eh, it's not bad, but keep in mind it's not excellent in quality. But keep in mind, malakas yung bright ng my my lights here in in my quote unquote studio is very bright. Okay, so it, it's not it's not low light at all. This kind of photos. Look at look at that Juan Carlos Bagnel. All right, <laughs> let's look at Mountain Dew. Yeah, actually, the photos aren't bad. Photos aren't bad, but you have to have lots of light, you know. These are not the these are not the worst photos I've ever seen. Yeah, you can even see some strands on my hair, on my beard, my beard. Not terrible. Not terrible. Actually. Very surprisingly good. A lot of phones sa mga 5,000 pesos will not be able to produce this kind of quality. Heck, I bet... <laughs> I'm gonna... Will I throw shade? Wag na lang, wag na lang. I bet... I bet, I bet the, uh, the Zenfone Max Pro does not produce images that good. Alright, uh, what kind of chat are we dealing with here? Let's do a 2-2 score while we're reading chat, ano? And two to score. There we go. Ayo ko ng ano two two eh, because meron na siyang ano eh, meron na siyang bloatware. Eh. Meron siya yung ano yung alam mo yung sa status mo sa sabi niya your battery temperature and whatnot crap. Bloatware, pasura. Okay, let's. Yeah, yeah, just ko para in walang walang glare sa lights eh. Test. There we go. Give some testing. Uh, I feel you, Kuya. Na asa ako dyan sa vault ng Xiaomi. Kaya yung Redmi Note 5 ko, nilagyan ko na lang ng Nova Launcher. Yeah. So, the Redmi Note 5, in case you don't know, may future update daw mangyayari sa Redmi Note 5 that you can disable the vault. And I thought this would have uh, the same feature na pwede i-disable yung vault. But hindi ko mahanap. So, maybe wala siyang feature na uh, to disable the vault. Uh, yung sa akin bago lang dumating Zenfone 3 Max 5.5 at Redmi Xiaomi Note 5 ang ganda din Xiaomi Note 5 is honestly problem lang talaga yung vault but the, the Redmi Note 5 doesn't lag at all uh, uh, try mo i-off yung animation no it's not the animation ko yeah. but I can do that pwede natin gawin we can go to developer mode but when I review phones, I I, I use the normal animations, you know. Uh, lag talaga yan, MediaTek na quad core pa. You know, tama naman si Christian Montes. Uh, kung okta yan, mabilis yan. Kuya, baka as accessibility yung app vault, baka doon pwede. Uh, I'm pretty sure wala sa accessibility. But you, you, ang, uh, kasi binasa ko yan sa, ano, sa Mi Forums. Eh. I, I read that on the Xiaomi Forums. That it's in the display or somewhere around there. But I, I'll look for it. 
when we when I have time, no. Tignan ko rin sa accessibility, baka nandoon. It's possible. After nung Antutu benchmark, gusto niyo testing natin. Nakikita niyo ba yung benchmark? Parang hindi niyo nakikita yung benchmark. Ito. Sa sabi ko sa inyo, high quality tong live stream na to. Eh. Ah. Oh, ha? Hindi hindi lang basta-basta tong BTS na to. We have production value ko, yes. Ha? Production value. Um Feel ko yung lag sir, nakaka-trigger din. <laughs> 60k and 22 says Wistech. Uh, Samsung A527. Oh, should we try PUBG Mobile on this thing? Should we try PUBG Mobile on this thing? Samsung A5 2017, maganda pa rin po ba? Uh, A5 2017? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's the it's the 7880 Octa. Oreo. Unless you can get it for a really low price, I wouldn't suggest it. You, there's so much more better phones out there na, na bago. So, hmm. All right. Ayan ha. Live. Antutu score. Hmm? And the, uh, sin it, let me know if you want to try PUBG Mobile. Because a lot of people want to play PUBG Mobile. On these gadgets. On these phones. So maybe. Is it good enough to play PUBG Mobile? Just ko sa nasa 17% pa lang tayo. Oh my god. Hindi sa. I'm not. I'm not hating Xiaomi. This is a. This is a great budget phone for Xiaomi we should not hold it in the regard in the level that we would expect it to be as good as their higher end counterparts but nakakatakot lang how long this, this benchmark is gonna take it's, it's already it's still at 15 17% ko yes Huawei P20 Pro thoughts po a little overpriced uh, not good in video but photos very good I wouldn't buy it for 50k if that's what you're asking. I would buy a uh, uh, what is it? I would ra for 50,000 pesos I'd buy a Samsung. Uh, ang ganda ganda ng Galaxy S9. Niyo malalaban na ng P20. Kalukohan lang yun. The P20 Pro has very good parang specific camera features, but overall as a phone, definitely Galaxy S9. Walang tatalo. Diyos ko, ano ko ba? AMOLED display? Super good na optical image stabilization. Waterproof. Ano lalaban ng P20 Pro dun? Quad HD display na AMOLED versus a 1080p display? Can't even optically stabilize the video? Huawei, come on! You're not in the same level. We're getting Antutu score predictions na kaya lang matagal pa to. <laughs> it's gonna take a while, mga ko, yes. <clears throat> Yan ha? Close up na close up na kayo ha? Ha? Hindi tayo cold gate. Close up. Zing, ang ganda ng joke ni Kuya. Grabe, tam number one. Pang ano? Pang, pang local TV. <laughs> so... Ano nga ba ang mag-usapan natin? Ang tagal nito eh! Oh my God! <laughs> kamusta na? Uh, uh, kamusta na ang linggo nyo? Nanood ba kayo ng Ant-Man? And... Ano gagawin natin? <laughs> Balik tayo ng 5 minutes. Ugh! Alright. <laughs> oh my god. Joke number one. <laughs> uh, same S9. Yes, indeed. Uh, OnePlus 6, okay po ba? Yeah, I think OnePlus 6. Hey, what's up, Alan Wood? Uh, OnePlus 6 is great, but unfortunately, it's not, you know, the best price right now. Um, it is a Pilipinas, you can buy a OnePlus 6 uh, digital walker, digital digits trading, or di digit. 
56%. Sorry. Um, digital Walker, right? Digital Walker, Digit Trading. Yes, Digital Walker. Um, hindi naman masama. I, I like the OnePlus 6. It's good. Sto- near stock Android with Oxygen OS. Um, it's a little pricey compared to the competition. I, I don't. I know. Bakit ganon? OnePlus should have. OnePlus was supposed to be the affordable. Uh, variant or competition, but unfortunately, it's not affordable. It the 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 Zenfone 5Z is more affordable. The other, sorry, matas yung brightness niya, but I can't do anything right now. The the Redmi, no, not the Redmi. The God, please help me. The Mi Mix. 2S I did it! The Mi Mix 2S is more affordable The Zenfone 5Z is more affordable Heck, people will probably buy the The Xiaomi Black Shark Is more affordable by a little bit uh, Speaking of which, let's go to the Mi 8 Kasi ito yung ano Let's 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 leave the Antutu score going muna Let's go full screen Where's my thing? There it is Alright, so one topic that I was gonna talk about today is the Mi 8. Because we talked about this nung na launch sa China, but thankfully, uh, mabilis gum- mabilis umakto si Xiaomi sa Pilipinas. Thank you, thank you, Xiaomi. I know you're a Chinese brand. Uh, welcome to the Philippines, a province of China. Kind of joke, but uh, Xiaomi, thank you for being, you know, fast. Mabilis rumisponde sa Pilipinas, no? Um. Teka lang, malakas ba yung... Parang mahina yung volume ng music natin? Nahiya naman ako. Masyadong matahimik ata yung music. Alright, so... Uh, Xiaomi Mi 8 to be available in the Philippines in July. To, July ngayon! 10 more days, matatapos na yung July. Wow, hindi ba 4K ang stream? What do you mean? It's 1080p. Nagre-reklamo yung battery ng ano ko, ng headphone ko. Hindi ko alam bakit. Naka-charge naman siya. Um, so, anyway, uh, Mi 8 will be available in the Philippines in July. That means it's gonna be available soon. Like in in, in 10 days. Uh, so, the Mi 8 is literally their newest flagship. and Basically, any Mi brand, uh, Mi 7, Mi 6, Mi 5, is a, is a flagship. Pwede. So, a Mi 8, <laughs> I think that was part of my beard. Um, hey, Techno Scribber, what's up, sir? Uh, so, Mi 8 available by the end of July. And then we're looking at some pretty high end specs. This is very high end. At least the processor is the top, no? Top model processor, Snapdragon 845. Here's the specs right here. Uh, galing kay Yuga Tech. Wala kasi tayong sinulat na article. Yet. Ang. Mostly ang reklamo ko dito is uh, the 1080p display. I know uso pa rin ang 1080p ngayon, so let's let's just I'm gonna forgive them for the fact that uh, they're using a a 1080p display. Um, but uh, if they could have made it a quad HD, it would be uh, I would send the phone over the top for me. But right now it's 1080p, as you can see, it's a 2248 by 1080 AMOLED display, so that's nice AMOLED. One thing about the Mi 8, in, maybe you don't know yet, it has the the same IR blaster, the same face detection sensors as the uh, iPhone 10. Um, so it's a very advanced phone. It's super advanced. I think it's the second phone in the world to have the same uh, IR blaster sensors as the iPhone. Wait, ito, wait, tama diba? Or yung ano ba yung SE lang ba? I forget. Anyway. Yeah, AI scene detect. Wait, tignan natin. Uh, alin ba yung, alin ba yung may IR detect? Hindi ko na matandaan. Wait, let's see. Kailangan pa ba natin i-research yun? Ah, uh, sino nang hula ng scores ni, um, ni, Mi, Mi 6A. Red Mi 6A. There's your score. <laughs> Natawa ko sa nakasulat. Tumabas. 
<rire> on va voir ce niveau il a rassuré là. Ah, le temps waouh. Qui part qui fait Pan si kolahat ng phone na may notch, full HD lang yung display. Actually, merong um, phones na quad HD with notch uh, sa LG G7. <laughs> Actually, gusto ko si LG G7 sa totoo lang. Um, ayoko lang ng notch. Um, and also, uh, in terms of updates tungkol sa aking interest in the HTC U12 Plus, looks like medyo pumapalpak si HTC U12 Plus in many ways. So, medyo nawala na ako ng interest sa HTC U12 Plus. Um... Advance Mi 8 mag Mi 8 Explorer Ay, hindi ba yung ano? Okay, so baka walang face recognition I don't know, I don't remember anymore Peke and Peke and score Alright, so apparently this thing scores 60,000 points Pero nakikita nyo ba yung nakasulat na fine print? Defeated 2% of users <laughs> That is so low, bro 2% that means mas mabilis lang siya. It's it, out of 100 phones, it is the second slowest phone or the third slowest phone out of 100 phones out of all Antutu scores. The third, the third slowest phone out of 100. Out of a hundred phones tested, third slowest. Parang, parang out of a hundred countries, Philippines level. Ah, sorry, but Philippines number one. Sorry, 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 number. Um, let's install PUBG. Oh boy. Uh, all right, let's do this. I, <sighs> Ang bagal. Pati yung home screen naglalag. You should have seen that. Nung pagka-press ko ng, ano, ng home. O, wala nangyari. Ah. And then nag-load yung home screen. <laughs> Sorry, you shouldn't laugh. You shouldn't laugh. This is an affordable phone. Holy crap. I shouldn't laugh. I should not laugh. Alright. Um... Hindi optimized ang software niyan sa ngayon bagong release. Sakit ni Mio ayan. Uh, Princess Teya, mabangis yung sabi ni Sean. Uh, successor yan ni MT6739. Mababa, mababa talaga. I have to admit, it's I, I did not expect it to be this low. Um, but Jesus Christ, you know, um, wala tayong magagawa. I mean, affordable is affordable. We can't do much about that. But dang, dang, dude. Um, very, very tough to recommend uh, when it comes to. And now, when you just use display settings, para hindi siya mag turn off. Wala siyang fingerprint scanner, wala siyang what, 2 gigs of RAM. Eh, it's a little tough to recommend. Uh, I know it's affordable, but. Eh, ano na lang talaga? It's just try, try to buy. Try to buy something in the 7,000 plus range talaga. Nasaan yung timeout? Wala sa display? I, uh, nothing against Xiaomi at all. I love Xiaomi as a brand, as their products. I still have their Redmi Note 5 here, which is an excellent phone. An excellent phone. Automatic bright. Nasaan yung ano? Nasaan yung timeout? Wait, seriously? Sino bang expert sa uh, Mio Aijan? Display. Nasa <laughs> Nasaan yung display timeout? Tulungan nyo ako. Tumatanda na siguro ako. Wala na akong alam sa telepono mga kuya. Uh, uh, wag na install ng PUBG pag yan plug na niyan hang. 
Um, ano pa pinakamagandang mid-range phone na brand? Vivo, Oppo, Xiaomi. Xiaomi po. Xiaomi. Uh, as far, uh, ito na lang. As far as uh, uh, price to performance or price to specs ratio, Xiaomi is the best. Uh, very, very, by a very big margin. Ano? Wala na finish na Redmi 6 eh. LG G5 sa bo- open Pinoy, 6K lang. 6K lang ba? Hmm, not bad. Pero second hand yan, mura din eh. Mga 8K lang din yung second hand yung LG G5. Um, I don't know sa open Pinoy what the heck that is. Um, as a screen lock? Why? Ano to type ko sa search box? Display. Full screen. Automatical disable navigation buttons. Wala. Uh, timeout. Up time, date time, time time automatic time zone, automatic date time. No, nope. nope. Uh, what if mag pull down tayo? Anapin natin dito. Wala ganun din yun ni. Eh. Uh... <laughs> Bright- brightness. Wala din yung time out dito. Sort. Ayo ayo na, give up na ako. Ayo na, ayo na, ayo na kanapin. Saan? Saan nilagay? Data more No, wala doon Wallpaper theme, sound and vibration Full screen display Wala doon eh Ay, yun, 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 kailangan ko yun Tanggalin mo yung mirror buttons ko, sakos kaliwa yung bucket uh, Battery and performance Wala doon Additional settings Quick ball, button and gesture, notification light, yes, turn on, okay. <clears throat> One-handed mode, accessibility, tingnan natin kung nandiyan siya, no? Game speed booster, uh, security, display size default, magnification, large mouse pointer, touch and hold, mono audio, high contrast, color inversion, wala. <laughs> Nakikita nyo naman yung ginagawa ko, diba? Nakikita nyo, nak- nakaka-focus naman siguro siya, diba? Mi account, sync, system apps, installed apps, dual apps, permission, system apps. Na? Am I blind? Nasaan yung ano? Sleep? Sleep? Lock screen, password. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what the heck? Ayoko na! <laughs> okay lang. De, okay lang. Sorry. Ni, hindi ko lang alam na nasa lock screen. Thank you, thank you, sir. Uh, Jim Carl. Uh, thank you, uh, Juan Isaac Ur- Ursua and Christian Montes. Thank you. Sorry. Hindi, sobrang hindi ako updated. I guess. Uh, true ko yeah. Best bang for the back phone ngayon ng Mi Note 5 AI. Excellent. Eh, sabi ni Christian Montes. Uh, good evening, MPC Mon. Sorry, sorry, na natagalan tayo do sa paganap ng sleep na. All right, um, uh, PUBG. Yun, there you go. It's installing. We're a gluten for punishment. <laughs> May download pa yan after siya mag-install, no? Um, so, bigyan, bigyan. Honestly, I think you know the design is very nice, no? Um, minimalistic, decent colors. It's metallic, but it's also plastic. No, it's not. Not the worst phone in the world for five thousand pesos. Yung processing lang talaga. It's not the best. Um, it doesn't look like the cameras are good. So at least kung bumili kan nito for, you know, uh, kung para kay bench or something. Uh, hindi siya magreklamo kung mo ano picture niyo. May mga attraction mga eye gown niya. Alright, um, yeah, still waiting for that. You know, sometimes ganyan talaga yung mga phones. Minsan, ma- kahit nag-100% na, marami pa rin ginagawa in the background para ma- ma-finish yung install. Wala tayo magagawa dyan. We have to wait. May questions ba kayo dito sa... Ay, gusto nyo bang check yung ano? Yung sensors niya kung meron siyang G- GPR. Ito lang yung niso ko. Let's install... Let's do a quick... Um, Ano to? Sensors. 
sensor box. I know hindi ganun ka importante ito ngayon, but at least for budget fee, budget minded people, hindi, uh, medyo gumagamit pa rin sila nito. And sometimes sensors are useful, no? Yung mga ambient light sensor and stuff like that. Nova 3i or Samsung J8. Um, ano ba specs ni 3i? Napag-usapan na ba natin yung 3i? Hindi pa. Anyway, um, like I said, uh, after ni- after nitong tapusin natin yung unboxing and then tapusin natin si Mi A, tapusin natin si Redmi 6 which is sandaling-sandali lang after the unboxing kasi ano lang yun, specs lang yun. Eh. And then we'll talk about the J- J8 and the, the 3i. Sensor box. Again, install pa rin. Sometimes it's the processor kung bakit mabagal-bagal yung pag-install but eh, what can you do? Yan, oh, ganda ng production values ng BTS talaga. Professional, professionally done. Um, <laughs> yeah, then, uh, so I research me ng konte. Hmm. Wala pa lang Mi 7 kasi nga pala yung un- unlock yung 7 sa ano, sa Chinese. <clears throat> right, so 99 score si DXO Mark ni Mi 8 3D face recognition Oh, tama ako! Wait, tignan natin yung website May 3D face recognition siya Ha, huh, tama ako Ha! Huh. <laughs> Bakit walang website siya ni Mi <laughs> Ano ba? Nasa yung website ni Xiaomi Mi? BTS number one. Thank you. Uh, kano po ba yan? Pag more than 4, it is 5,290 if I'm not mistaken. Alright. Let's do sensors. Accelerometer. Meron. Light sensor. Meron. Ah, nice. Orientation. Meron. Good. Ba. Proximity. Ano yung proximity? Oh, umaandar siya. Good. Temperature, wala. Gyroscope, wala. No! Oh, no! Patay! <laughs> not good. That's not good. Um, Sound, magnetic, whatever. May magnetic sensor siya? That's crazy. That's crazy it has a magnetic sensor. Um, alright, let's <laughs> do... Tignan nyo naman yung lag nung ano, yung, yung thing mo jig. Oh, may stocks pala ako. State Bank India and Tata Motors, apparently, ang stocks ko. PUBG Mobile! <clears throat> alright. There we go. 10 cent. Um, hindi naman sa unlocking Ang alam ko kaya nila Skinip si 7 dahil malaking improvement Mula sa Mi 6 No, hindi pa, pa Pero ano, malas yung 7 na number diba? sa In Chinese uh, Ano ba um, Pagsakya walang gyro MTK pa Yun nga eh, unfortunate um, Medyo unfortunate nga and, uh, Sad Let's go. <laughs> Habang naglo-load si PUBG, no? Let's talk about the Mi 8 mo na. So, tama ata ako. I'm pretty sure na merong um, face recognition 3D sensor si, si Xiaomi Mi 8, right? Asan ba yan? So, ako ba na? <laughs> Basta, anyway. Um, so, it has a 1080p display. 845. Snap Dragon 845. 6 gigs of RAM. And I think 64 gigs of storage yung nandito sa Pilipinas or whatnot. Uh, 4 axis OIS image stabilized 2 2 12 megapixel camera sa likod isang 20 megapixel camera sa harap uh, napag-usapan na natin to a few times ano may fingerprint scanner maganda yung quality DXO mark is very high 99 points total 3400 milliamp hour battery with quick charge 4.4 plus which is crazy kasi quick charge 2.0 pa lang yung battery charger ko and i think it comes with a quick charge 4 plus charger sa box niya so that's very nice Ang, ang alam kong wala siya is wala siyang headphone jack. Um, and it's priced at 25990 for the 6 gig 
64 variant. That's 26,000 pesos for a very massively powerful phone. And 28,000 for the 128 gig variant. Wala rin siyang SD card slot. Alright? So, yun ang, yun ang lugi mo. Walang headphone, walang SD card slot. But you should definitely buy the 6, 128 gig variant anyway para ma, ma, you have enough space. No? Um, it will be available on July 30 in Xiaomi's authorized stores. I like that. This is very, very promising for me. I, wala lang siyang headphone jack, walang expandable, but I think it's a very nice flagship. I don't know if I want to buy it, but kung... Uh, Alam mo kung bakit? Alam niyo naman kung bakit hindi ako makabili ng telepono ngayon kasi bumili ako ng ng gimbal. <laughs> I bought a camera gimbal stabilizer next na for for high-end camera. So not interested in buying a new phone at this point. Uh, but if I did not spend the money on the gimbal there, uh, I would probably please restart the game. But please restart the game sabi ni PUBG. Will it run? Question mark. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you're looking for a flagship phone, if you're looking for a high-end flagship phone, this one is very good. I think it's one of the top phones you should be in your top list for 30,000 pesos or below. High-end Snapdragon 845 phones. If not the top most, right? If not the number one. If you're at the 30,000 peso price point, I think this be, should be your number one choice at 30,000 pesos. Walang, kay, walang iba. You also have the Zenfone 5Z, the other Xiaomi phone na, uh, ano ba to? Um, it was the uh, ba, 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 ba. Uh, <laughs> Mi Mix 2S. Did I say that right? Uh, and also, meron ding Xiaomi Black Shark. And then may isa pa, if I'm not mistaken. But this, I think this should be the top of the list. The top of the list. Uh, may not siya, by the way. So, hmm. But meron siya ng 3D scanning technology, which is 30,000 pesos. 3D scanning technology. That's important, no? So that's the Mi 8. Uh, let's go back to our PUBG Mobile. Let's do guest. Sorry, medyo scattered yung ating uh, show because of uh, loading, loading. Agree! Agree! But agree! My God! Progress may be lost when changing. I don't give a fuck. Sorry. YouTube, don't demonetize. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> uh, please adjust graphics and screen settings if you experience issues, blah, blah, blah. Region Asia. Jesus Christ. Come on. Okay. Boobs lady. Go. Create. Create. Please. Please. Okay, walang name. Uh, uh, lag. Lag. Po. Oh. Ako. Aamo. Ako. Lag. Po. Oh. Ako. Check. Create. Ay, hindi. Dapat LOG log. Um... Yung Mi 8 Explorer Edition is the one with the facial sensor similar to the iPhone. Oh no, okay. Baka mali ako. Uh, does not have it. Infrared scanning. Uh, Mi 8 is infrared scanning. Mi 8 Explorer infrared scanning plus 3D dot scanner. There you go. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Sir Wiztek and Sir uh, Jeffrey John Burnett. Uh, Ursua says, Yan po ba yung main notch? Walang notch ito. This is just 18 by 9 ratio. Uh, ang preference ko, may notch wala? I prefer walang notch. Uh, that's why I was so... Interested in the HTC U12 Plus. Eh, mas gusto ko nga yung, alam mo yung, ayoko nung, ano, nung rounded corners na display. I like full edged corners, as in edgy. Edgy ako eh, edgy. Uh, 7.6mm has no headphone jack. Me, my phone, 7.3mm has headphone jack. <laughs> um, rookie, uh, experience. Para what ne whatever. Whatever. Just let me play, please. Come on. D spec requirements low. Gusto, anong gusto yung spec requirement? Low na lang. Got it. Okay, fine. Just let me play. Ah. Ah, just let me play. 
God! Please! I don't care! My God! Buti na lang hindi siya yung mga games na... Yung paano, yung pa, pa, paano pa yung games na may 20 minute tutorial? Hey! Please! Use... Uh, hello, what? What the... Uh, just let me play! Use our gem to upgrade your uh, item now. I'm giving you free one gem. This is our upgrade shop. You can buy extra gem to upgrade your thingamajig. And blah, blah, blah. Alright, let's do this. PUBG. Oh. Nalaglag yung aking wireless ano, headphone thingamabob. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Woo, boy. This is gonna be fun. Any speakers in. Boy oh boy. Sana na insula ko ng game bench para matesting talaga natin yung FPS. But this looks like 20 FPS to me. Wait, may katim nga pala ako. I forget. Oh crap, dapat nag solo sa ako kasi maglilive ako sa game. May target si Lahoya. Ano ta? Ano pangalan? Oh my god, the frame rate. Just could die. Actually, mag may pagbaril na ako agad para patay ako agad. No? Tinarget nila Rosok ba kay mo ba agad? What the fuck? Oh god! Oh god! The frames! I can count it in my fingers. The frames! Nakita nyo? Can you count the frames? Oh god! <laughs> oh shit! Look at what it's up, Tomer! Oh crap! Oh! Ah! Alam mo may mga, may mga tao na sasabihin playable pa rin yan. Uh. Tapusin nyo ko yan. Ayaw ko sayang oras, dude. Ano ka ba? May, or, may ano, may buhay tayo. May buhay ang hindi, hindi. Bu kung, kung, kung hindi tayo live stream, okay lang. Ano yun, napatay yung kampi ko. Kung hindi tayo live stream, okay, live stream, okay lang. Wala kang baril, wala kang baril. What the crap? Huh! Ang liit ng screen, ang hirap magpindot. Huh! Come on, crouch! Ah! Pata! Uh, baril. Ah, uh, uh, sh shut up. Stop adding stuff on my screen. Ah, the lag! <laughs> Victor. Pick that up. Alright. Ah, uh, tignan natin kapag nakapatay tayo or something. Baka pwede tayong... Yun na, yun na lang yung gagawin natin. Let's look for something to... Somebody. Wala tayong gamit, dudes. Ah, the lag. Can you see? You see the lag, right? Wait, hindi. Wait lang. Tumayo ko naman, please. Okay. Wala tayong gamit, bros. You got a shotgun and a stupid SMG? Ugh. Jump. Jump. Mali. Mali yung button. Uh, Alas na tayo dito. Actually... Oh, nakakatakot wala tayong gamit Guys, hindi naglalag yung stream ha Naglalag yung game ha <laughs> Ay, ba't pala, palayo ako dito? Papunta tayo sa circle May pistol ba to? Bakit may button? Whatever Ah, oh, may pistol nga Apparent Ah, oh, okay Dinagdag na ba nila yung pistol sa PUBG Mobile? Hindi ko alam eh I'm noob Balik na naman tayo dito Nandito na naman tayo Pasok tayo dito. Dito tayo hindi pumasok. Ah, the lag! <laughs> Don't play PUBG Mobile with this phone, guys. It's not for PUBG Mobile, okay? 
Okay, please. Oh, uh, Midkit. Uh, Midkit, please fix my leg. Uh, oh my god, the guns here are not. The oh, okay, my M16. Thank you. Please give M16. Thank you. Nice. Mm, the lag. Alright, the lag. Ah! <laughs> oh, finally, helmet. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I have armor na ba ako? Meron na ata. Okay, good. Yeah. Jump. Ang uh, <laughs> late ng button. Nasaan na yung kampi ko? Gusto ko makapatay ng tao? Wala bang tao? Kaya tayo. Ano ba tayo? Uh, turn on VR voice. Turn on voice chat. Search for vehicles. Binabalil ba ako? May kukabal sa akin. Where? Ako ba yung binabalil? Narinig ko lang. May narinig ako eh. Hopefully narinig nyo rin yung sound nung, nung game no. Medyo malayo sa mic ko but uh, hopefully. <laughs> Ang pangit na nakaduko eh. <clears throat> Meron naman akong grenade, no? Papatayin ko sa... Oh my God, the lag, dude! Okay, binabalil talaga ako si Rioso lang. Ah, grabe yung lag, dude! Oh my God! Ah, may, ah likod ko. There he is. Oh my God, the zoom! Oh my God, the lag, dude! Holy crap! Are you fucking disgrace? Okay. Arar to tingko na lang si Goya. Oh, the lag! It's nice! <laughs> oh, sakit! Ang sakit ng buhay ko! Ano na yung alaman? Give me your stuff, bro. Hindi ko kinaya. Ilang scope yung zoom ko. Diyos ko. That lag sa scope is crazy. Get to the safe zone. Magpapakamatay na lang ako after this. Ay, may kotse dito. Ay, maandar ba yung kotse? Pakamatay na ako. Hanap na lang ako ng grenade. Asan ba yung grenade? Wala atang may grenade. Wala akong grenade. Hanap ako ng grenade. Oh, nice gun. Give me that. M another M4. Give me that. Give me another M4. Reload my first one. Parang kinarir ko naman sobra, no? Hindi naman ako... <laughs> Papakamatay na nga ako, eh. Give me grenade. Wala ng grenade. Ah! Ayaw akong pin... pin stop! Ta! Ah! The touch screen is annoying. <laughs> Ayoko na. Escape. Quit. Sorry, bros. Uh, but, uh, please, let me, let me go. Let me out. No, let me go. Let my people go. And there you go. There's the 5G. What's not happen? Boom. Whoo! Aray ko be! Aray ko be! Buti na lang ba't kalaban. I know, right? <laughs> Grabe, kanina pa ako binabaril nun. So, not for PUBG Mobile. Indeed. For sure, for sure, not for PUBG Mobile. That lag is... Ibang klase ko, yes. Ibang klaseng lag. Uh, that it's 5,292 gigs of RAM. Not not for I know, but the camera seems fun. Seems pretty decent. Pang mo Mobile Legends lang yan. Casual gaming COC, Candy Crush. Hindi ka kaya nin heavy graphics na games. Yeah. Mabilis pa ata red me 4A. Siguro. I don't know. I don't... Yeah, baka. Me 4A ata ako dito eh. Or 5A ba yung nandito? Alright, so that's the unboxing natin ng Redmi 6A. Uh, and then, discuss natin sa andali si Redmi 6. I don't know. Tignan natin yung difference in terms of um, specs. Ano? 
So let's do that. Wala na. No more unboxing cam uh, for now. Because wala tayong i-unbox. Did you enjoy our unboxing? Uh, or should we do more of those? Yung dual cam unboxing natin sin, ano, style? Um, kasi binalik, binalik ko siya today para testing ulit. And also, you know, I think our production values are getting better talaga. Ayos yung 40 laptop. Pag-uusapan natin yan. Uh, maybe after nitong, ano, yung, ano yung, yung pangalan ni... The uh, Huawei? No, no, no. Honor. 3i. Uh, Alright. So, Redmi 6 is similar specs. O nga, similar specs. So, 3 gigs of RAM si Redmi, ano? Redmi 6. Oh, what? Same display. Same processor. 3 gigs of RAM si, ano? Si Redmi 6. And then, starts at 32 instead of starts at 16. We have a dual camera sa likod. Ito kasi single camera sa likod eh. Uh, and then 5 megapixel front. Dual SIM hybrid. Wait, bakit dual SIM hybrid? Hindi totoo yan ah. Sino nagsulat nito? Si Kuya Von Chua. Mali si Kuya. Hindi <laughs> niya alam. Triple SIM to eh. <laughs> ha! Ha! Kala mo galing ko eh no? Uh, LTE, GPS, blah, blah, blah. Ah, may fingerprint scanner si 6. Magkano si 6? 7, 4. Oh, God. Ang sakit. Ba't ganun? Why? Why would you buy this at 7, 4, 90? There will also be a flash sale at Lazada for the Redmi 6 on July 23 uh, with a 3 gig plus 32 model selling for 6990. So it's a 500 peso discount. While the 4G 64 model selling for Oh, what? Why? Did you not know there's a Redmi F Note 4X? Sino kalaban nito? mag ka naman. <laughs> mag mag magpapatrim ako ng uh, balbas ko ya soon. Uh, tinamad lang ako this week. But uh, not, not ahead. I'll keep the balbas. Uh, Redmi... Kahit hindi 4X eh. Kahit yung Redmi S2 eh. Bakit ganun? Why? Why? Okay, admittedly, 8,000 ito. Pero, pag-favorite na SD625, exactly. Best under 10K Zenfone Max Pro? Maybe, yeah. Malapit na. Uh, I don't trip na siya. <laughs> exactly. What can on? Ano nangyari? What's go what? Hindi mo mapapaglaban yung 7490 na yan. Mas lalo hindi mo mapapaglaban yung 8990. Just ko sa 9000 pesos. Ba, ano ba ginto ba yung dual camera mo? Ginto? Ginto ba yung dual ginto ba yung 5 megapixel? Wag niyo na lang kabit yung 5 megapixel, payag na ako. Eh. Hindi ko kailangan ng ginto. Ano nangyari? Dahil, dahil ba 18 by 9 ratio display? Gano, ano, magkano ba yung 18 by 9? Gusto, gusto, bigyan mo na lang ako 16 by 9 ratio display. Huwag mo akong bigyan ng extra 5 megapixel dual rear camera mo kasi hindi ako gumagamit ng buki buki mode mo. Ng portrait mode mo. Siyam na libo! Seven, five? What happened? What happened? My guess, my gule. Oh well. Hmm. I don't like that. I like that at all. Baka bahayag pa ako sa 6A. 
Kasi yung 680 nga mga 5290, tingnan mo yung 2,000 pesos difference, nagkaroon ka ng fingerprint, nagkaroon ka ng second camera, lumaki ng konti yung storage mo. Ah! Hindi pa. Ah! Ang sakit! Ang sakit! Mm, hindi, hindi ko recommend. Hindi ko recommend. No. Not recommended. Um, so there it is, the Redmi 6 and 6A And also we discussed the Redmi, uh, Xiaomi Mi 8 before that Sorry kung nakamali ako sa mga uh, yung, yung specific na- naming ng ano So apparently may infrared scanner Si Mi 8 The one that's gonna be available here May infrared scanner sa mukha uh, No, not infrared uh, uh, Iris or infrared Infrared scanner sa mukha But the Mi 8 Explorer Which is not avail- gonna be available in the Philippines Has the 3D face recognition so, mali ako um, Or inaccurate ako Kasi nakaka, medyo nakaka-confuse din eh. But the Redmi 6 I cannot recommend uh, Just get the Note 4X Get the Redmi S2 You'll be You'll be You'll be sold 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 Nasa na tayo we're, We were gonna talk about the J8 um, And then the you know, The Honor 3i ba yun? 3i Hindi pa natin ang pag-usapan to? Ano, anong pag-usapan natin? Huawei 3i? Alo, ah, I thought na pag-usapan na natin to eh, but whatever. Um, right, another four freaking... Alright, oh, alright, right. Kakalabas nga pala to. May, may, may event sila nga pala last week na hindi ako invited. Um, 24 megapixels asterisk! Four AI phone cameras, 128 GB, Huawei Nova 3i, dual front camera, 24 megapixel plus 2, dual rear camera, 16 megapixel plus 2. SRP is 15,990, pre-order July 19 to 27, and get a free exclusive Bluetooth speaker. What the fuck? <laughs> CDR King, may Bluetooth speaker, anin ko yan, tatlong libo mo. Alright, uh, let's watch the film. What the fuck? I just wasted fucking 15 seconds of my life. Why? Para sa new video na yon. Okay, uh, YouTube, don't demonetize me. Uh, provides three color models, pearl white, black, and iris purple. Most likely, you'll get the iris purple because siya yung kamukha-kamukha ng uh, P20 Pro, no? Uh, 6.3-inch full HD plus display provides a wide view of their world. Meron siyang notch, no problem. Mukhang dalawa yung lit. Oh, nga pala, dalawa nga pala yung front cam niya, no? Four AI cameras with the specialized 4 AI camera solution of 24 plus 2 and 16 plus 2. Impressive photos with high quality clarity and bokeh effects. Uh, selfie master, whatever, blah blah blah. HDR Pro, blah blah blah. Qmoji! Oh my god. <sighs> Everybody got a couple, copy Apple. Ka- ka- Apple. Apple. Everybody caples. Uh, dual rear AI rear cameras capture the beauty of life. Freeze an instant, instant with super sun. Who actually actually uses the AI? Hindi ko pa natatapos yung Zenfone 5 review kasi po siya gusto ko sira. Gusto ko siraan yung AI. Sobrang siraan yung AI kasi walang kwenta. Hindi naman nakakatulong tong AI AI shit na to eh. Oh god, teka lang. YouTube don't demonetize me. Smart shopping with AI. Image searching with AI. Robust connectivity with AI. Mm. So much AI. Your brain no longer needs to work. I mean, it didn't work anyway because you bought this phone. <laughs> Sorry. Hindi naman. That's a new specs. Ah, ito, specs. Alright, so it looks nice. Honestly, the design looks nice to me. Uh, we have a TF IPS display, Full HD+, plus, uh, Huawei Kirin 710. Kirin 710? What? Okay, it's not the highest-end Kirin. Okay. 
4 gig 128 uh, with micro SD. There's a dual SIM variant. Nakita na natin yung cameras and whatnot. Okay. For 16,000, that's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, mm, I, yung Kirin 710 yung hindi ko masyadong kinala. Um, I'm willing to bet it's around the 625-636 level of performance. So, wala naman ako reklamo. I think, that, uh, for the most part, I think, okay, this this is not the worst phone in the world. I think it's one of the better choices out there in terms of price to performance, price to specs. So far, uh, I'm just not sure about the high silicon Kirin 710 masyado. Um, I, uh, from what I can tell, it's about the same level as 625-636. So, no complaints there. Medyo slightly more power consumption si si high silicon Kirin. So, mas maikli yung battery life mo by a little bit. Actually, by a little more than a bit. Um, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. It's It'll, it'll do fine. Right? Okay lang siya. No complaints here. Uh, definitely not in the same level as low-end Samsung or, or uh, Samsung in this price point. Which is yun yung pag natin afterwards. I think it's not bad. Uh, for 16K... Yeah, actually not bad, no? Uh, you have your selfie capabilities, you have your Huawei brand, very good design, notch display. Definitely not as bad as Vivo. <laughs> In terms of specs, I know. But yeah, it's 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 okay. It's okay. I think it's okay. Um, In term, kung ako i-rate ko yung specs, to, ito na lang, I'll rate the specs to performance. I'd say, specs to performance, it's about an 8 out of 10 when it comes to good value for money when it comes to specs, no? So, yun na lang yung uh, easy way to determine how good the specs are to the performance, no? Uh, to the to the price, no? I think it's, at, at, in terms of what you get for your money, it's about 8 out of 10. There you go. Um, and then Vivo is maybe around uh, a 5 out of 10 when it comes to specs to, perf specs to price. Alright, so that's the Nova 3i And then the Galaxy J8 Un Invited ako dito, hindi ako pumunta kasi baha Hindi ako makalis ang, alis ang bahay Ayoko kasi, ano ba, Makati yun eh Layo-layo, tas dadaan ako sa baha Hindi na ano yun Hindi na, tas babayad ka Ano, magkano babayad ko sa Grab? Sige, sige lang, nasa may UP area ako UP Diliman area ako Kung ala, kung, kung nakatikra kayo sa Maynila And then maybe galing kayo sa North area Or nakapag-grab-grab na kayo kung saan-saan Sabihin mo nga sa akin, magkano yung grab, estimate mo sa sarili mo, based on your experience, magkano yung grab car, grab taxi, whatever, mula UP Diliman area, papuntang Makati or, or Fort area, sa at, at a, uh, let's say 2pm ng Wednesday or something, and umuulan ng malakas, as in malakas. May na siguro yung 500. And then, hindi ka pa sigurado kung may makakakuha kang grab. Sigurado yun. Uh, pa, paano yung pabalik? E di 500 plus ulit. Hindi na kayo 1,000 na ako. Uh, kaya ba ng ba? <laughs> uh, ano ba to? WCCF Tech. Bago lang Kirin 710, parang similar sa 970. Similar sa 970? Ah, you mean bago lang din. Mm. Uh, replace 659. Yeah, nasa ano to, feeling ko mga Snapdragon 600 level. It, 600 level. That's why sabi ko 625 and 636. Um, kasi 900 series yung highest end ng, ng ano, Huawei key rin eh. Uh, Emak Chavez says, bukod sa price, anong magan ang maganda sa Ryzen 52400G or Intel i7? What? An layo naman nun. Um, Ryzen 52400G or Intel i7? Go for it. Ayoko tuloy magsalita na dyan si Benji. Hirap ka usap ni Benji. Just go. Uh, okay, so the, Ry the Ryzen G processors are what I call dead-end processors. Well, hindi naman, okay. They are processors where you pay money 
to have the what is it called the uh, the Radeon Vega inside it but if you add a GPU to your system the Radeon Vega is useless inside your CPU so ang tanong ko dyan, ang, ang, ang ayaw ko dyan is um, let's say let's say uh, uh, bumili ka outright ano 2400G Kinabita mo ng 1070 yung system mo. Parang normal, normal, normal level. 1070, 1060 na lang. Bali wala na yung Radeon Vega na built in Bali wala. Unless ginagamit mo siya for encoding purposes in, in, in a very technical scenario. Hindi mo magagamit yung uh, Vega sa loob. Which is a waste of what's inside the Vega. And binayaran mo yan eh. Uh, in 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 in, in ang, ang, ang terms na you would normally think ang rate cost ng Radeon Vega may is around 3000 pesos when it comes to what the per, what it performs like uh, thankfully yung processor is not much more expensive than the regular what 1300x ng ng 16 uh, ng Ryzen series 1 But, in terms of performance, that is performance wasted inside your CPU. Unused silicon performance inside your CPU. Because you'll never use it if you don't use, if you have an external discrete GPU. So, ang problem dyan is, hindi, hindi na, not necessarily a problem, but it's more like wasted potential. It's wasted potential because you bought something with, it's like, ano ba? Ah, uh, hindi. Wala akong maisip na, ano eh, na magandang... Ano ba magandang comparison yun? Ito. Meron kang go-kart. Meron siyang maliit na makina sa loob ng go-kart. So, go-kart siya, and then meron siyang maliit na makina. Umaandar yung go-kart with maliit na makina. Pero, hindi mo, ma hindi mo pwedeng tanggalin yung maliit na makina kasi built-in yung maliit na makina eh. Kinabita mo ng mas malaking makina. Di ba? So, kinabita mo na mas malaking makina yung go-kart mo, pero hindi mo pwedeng tanggalin yung malit na makina mo. Hindi mo pwedeng ibenta yung malit na makina mo. Hindi magagamit forever yung malit na makina mo. Unless for very, very specific purposes, lalagyan mo ng generator yung, 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 yung go-kart mo or something. So, yun yung, yun yung analogy ko when it comes to these APUs or Ryzen G. No? Uh, they're useless once you, build, you plug in a GPU. They're useful if you don't have a GPU. So, question is, ang, palak, ang balak mo ba magka-GPU later on? E kung balak mo magka-GPU later on, then basically you're putting money in something that will not be ever used later on. So, are you okay? Are you okay with having this little makina inside your system that is never used? Okay lang, actually, so totoo lang, kung ako lang, tatanungin mo, whatever, okay lang na mayroong makina sa loob ng kotse ko na hindi gumagana, hindi ginagamit. Hmm? Siguro pag nasira yung makina ko, yun na lang gagamitin ko. But, yun ang problem doon, is you slightly pay for that extra makina in your system. Nice headphones. Thank you, Sir Jonathan. Yun yung uh, binabayaran mo sa system mo. A little bit of that extra engine uh, sa system mo. Pwedeng tanggapin mo na mawawala na yun. Wala, try, just write off mo na lang yun. Wala, wala, wala akong pakialang sa makina na yun. Mura lang yun eh. Fine. But to some people like me, I don't like that. I don't like the fact na merong extra, merong, merong uh, appendicitis na may maliit na makina na nakakadikit sa, ko sa kotse ko na hindi gumagana. Pampabigat ng konti. Konti. Konti lang. So, uh, yun lang yung ano mo. Yun lang yung decision mo dito. Now, if you're asking me, Ryzen 5 2400G or Intel i7, tatanungin ko, anong Intel i7? But, uh, most likely, you're talking about an Intel i7 na, na modern. The, today's, today's level na Intel i7. So, I'm I'm going to assume pang gaming ang, ang target mo. Kung ganun lang din, I'll go with the Intel i7. Malayong malayo yan. The 2400G is a is a budget budget CPU. Hindi mo budget, okay. The 2400G is a mid-level CPU na lang. 
a mid-level CPU. An Intel i7 is supposedly a high-end, high-clock speed CPU with oh, sabi, yung, yung cores and whatnot pareho lang. But in terms of clock speed, generally, mas mataas ang iaabuto mo sa Intel i7. Especially if you buy the newer Intel i7s with higher clock speeds, lower lower power consumption, and overclockable. So, mas mapapamahal ka ng konti sa Intel i7. Or actually, medyo tabla lang sila. What I would compare this to is, kanito, medyo may parity na ngayon eh. Kasi yung Intel i7, uh, modern na 8th gen, is already 6 core, 12 thread. The modern Ryzen 7 is 8 core, 16 thread. Pero naglalaban sila sa performance. Mas maraming threads si Ryzen 7, mas mabilis sa clock speed si Intel i7. So, the question is na lang din is, do you want more threads or do you want more clock speed? For gaming, you want clock speed. Clock speed is the one that dictates your frame rate for most games. Actually, 99.9% .9 of games siguro. John Shaw says 8700K versus 2400G. Oh, 8700K is good along then. Um uh, there are some I'm not saying Ryzen is bad or AMD is bad. I like AMD, dude. Man, may AMD system dito. If you don't actually hindi sa akin yan, but paggaya bang ko pa rin. The no, the the Super Tor Stormtrooper AMD system. Uh bakit nalalaglag? Hindi ko na lock. Okay. E oink. Ah, nangyari sa aking headset cable. Natapakan ng aking tripod. Yan. Mapapa, map, mabubuksan natin. Mapapabukas tayo ng Ryzen. Teka lang, ba't ayaw mag-lock ng tripod? <laughs> Napaka-load. Pagkali ko na nga yung charger ng headset ko para hindi na tayo makapaglakad-lakad na tayo. Ugh! Buksan natin siya. You like my you like my pajamas? <laughs> so, na ba? There you go. There's the Ryzen. There's the Ryzen Stormtrooper. Ryzen Stormtrooper build there, right right there. See? Um So yeah, I'm point ko lang is if you're going to play games, uh, I would go I would lean towards Intel. Uh, in terms of performance, sa totoo lang, overall performance in terms of maliit lang indifference, but mas mataas pa rin si i7 for it's si i7 for gaming. Si Ryzen, I would not buy any of the Gs. I would not buy the Ryzen 2200G, 2400G. If I'm going to buy a GPU afterwards, okay? So tandaan niyo lang 'yung sinasabi ko. If I'm going to buy a GPU graphics card after I buy a CPU, I buy the Ryzen CPU, I'm not gonna buy a G. Because I'm not going to use the, Ry the AMD Vega inside the Ryzen. I don't have a use for the Vega, yung mahinang Vega sa loob ng Ryzen, which is basically dead weight. But also, hindi mo mabibenta. Kasi normally, you buy a system, Pag hindi mo na ginagamit yung GPU, bibenta mo yung GPU. Not this one, yung GPU na built-in, hindi mo bibenta. And it's not powerful enough to rely on for higher-end stuff. So, it is a very, 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 very small engine uh, that can that can power stuff, but not the most powerful engine. Um, Gagraduate ka rin. It's like, okay, parang makina ng scooter. Parang makina ng scooter, Okay? So let's say let's say wala kang GPU, bisikleta 'yon. Power ng bisikleta. Kung meron kang Ryzen G, meron kang in makina ng scooter. Hindi pa rin mabilis 'yon. Punta ka sa EDSA, may scooter ka, Jusko. Matatakot ka sa buhay mo. Ah, uh, ang actual GPU, yung malakas na GPU, 'yan, kotse na 'yan. Kot makina na ng kotse 'yan. Na maraming 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 makina yung kotse, may kotse na 1 liter 2 liter, 3.8 liter, may 5 liters, may 8 liter engine ba nga eh. So, yun yung GPUs na yun. Pero, ang, ang Ryzen G pra, GPU is like a, a, a scooter engine. So, 
Sigurado ka graduate ka rin sa scooter engine so, so, later on in your life and kahit na sobrang tipid ka ngayon later on in your life mawawala yung scooter na yun mag-upgrade ka rin uh, so ang point dyan is uh, medyo sayang yung scooter engine mo because hindi mo pwedeng ibenta yung scooter mo uh, kung okay lang sa'yo na hindi pwedeng ibenta yung scooter fine, go ahead but uh, para sa akin I'm not gonna go with the G because I know for a fact, 100%, 3 million percent, bibili ako ng GPU. Bibili ako ng kotse. Bibili ako ng kotse. In both the literal sense and the... Okay, never mind. Uh, so, yun, yun lang yung point ko. Um, I, li- I, like my G- I like my GPUs. Gusto ko yung scooter ko na bibenta. So, or yung gusto ko yung whatever na bibenta. So, hindi ako bibili ng G. Bibili ako ng non-G. And then, kung ano man yung pera na, na na-save ko or whatever. I know walang, walang difference in price. Ito to lang. But, ah, sobrang haba na na discussion. Sorry, ayoko na. <laughs> I, hope you get na- I hope you get the point. No? Um, it, the, the G is not for me. It could be for you. I'm not saying it's not for for everybody. It's, I, I'm not saying don't go for the G, right? Uh, I use i7, i7 pero I can say depende kasi sa workload mo. Um, 2400G is greater than 8700K, sabi ni John Shaw. Haha, joke. Uh, I legit learned something. Ewan ko sa'yo, Bench. Feeling ko, wala ka naman na to. <laughs> Yung sinasabi... Uh, Ang dami ko ng basis na sinasabi sa'yo, Bench. Hindi ka pa rin, wala ka pa rin na, ano, walang nare-retain masyado sa'yo. Uh, here, better to see pag sa gaming percent. Okay. Ryzen 5 2400G 10K i7 is 18K 8th gen. Totoo naman. Um, daya lang daw, pag gusto mo sakali R7 1700, bakit price sa atin almost 16K pa dun? Actually, 20K. Mahal yung, mahal yung, ay, yung 1700X kasi yung gusto ko eh. Don't go for the, the first gen Ryzen na lang. Buy, for, buy the second gen Ryzen. Kasi hindi na update yung first gen Ryzen prices natin. Hindi nila binaba. Uh, internationally, bumaba yung Ryzen first gen prices. Sa Pilipinas, wala silang pakialam sa atin masyado. Hindi nila binaba yung prices sa Ryzen 1. So, ang Ryzen 2 yung updated pricing natin. So, go for the Ryzen 2 series. Second series Ryzen. Uh, G4560 pa rin. Exactly, Sir Emak. Okay lang kaya Ryzen 52600 slash X for 1440p 144Hz gaming, says John Shaw. Depende sa GPU mo. <laughs> it's more on the GPU. Um, depende rin sa game um, Kaya naman yan Ryzen 5 No problem I would go with the X But also uh, 2600 is fine din uh, The reason why I go for the X Kasi ma- mas- mataas agad yung clock speed niya Out of the box And malit na yung difference in price Pero sa totoo lang ko Nagtitipid ka talaga Kasi tipid na tipid Okay 2600 No X Kung ako lang din pff, un- Unfortunately Hindi kasi ako masyadong uh, I-, I buy the Kung ganun Kasi Use case ko is uh, pang matag, I mean, pang ano ba? I, I add the extra investment para mako yung highest end version. Um, kasi ayoko ng problema. Ayoko nung nagsa-struggle ako sa kaya ba, hindi kaya. Or borderline kaya. Borderline. Ayoko ng borderline kaya. Gusto ko, bang! Kaya yan lahat. <laughs> yung 1080 Ti nga, nahihirapan sa 4K kaya borderline pa rin ako sa 1080 Ti. <laughs> Um, sa bagay daw, yung memory picking sa unang gen is still finicky than the second gen Ryzen. And then, uh, 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 um, prices kasi, the prices ng second gen is actually lower than the first gen Ryzen officially. Binabalan talaga ng sellers yung first gen Ryzen because, well, they had to. But, Ryzen second gen is, SRP in the Philippines is lower, much lower. So, go for a Ryzen second gen. Actually, tingnan natin. Let's call up Awesome Table. Awesome table! Yeah! Parang Sonic the Hedgehog. Ryzen. Ngayon Ryzen 7. Okay. Ryzen Ah, wala nang first gen. Nasa na yung ibang Ryzen? Ryzen. Okay. So, tingnan natin. Ryzen 5 1500X for, is 9,000. Tingnan mo. Tingnan mo yung prices, oh. Ah, wala silang ibang Ryzen. Naubos na siguro yung iba, no? Tingnan mo yung 6 core ng 
Tingnan mo yung 6 core ng 2600. 10,000. Tingnan mo yung 4 core ng 1500X, 9,000. Ano ba yan? Baba mo naman yung prices ko. Alayin ng difference. Alayin difference in performance. 4 core, 6 core. Tapos isang libo lang difference. Yan yung, yan yung problem ng Ryzen first gen. Buti na lang paubos na. Ah. Planning to upgrade din to 1080. Kinoconsider ko si Ryzen kasi on track si Ryzen 3rd gen for next year. Yun ang maganda sa Ryzen is um, their motherboards don't change. They pl they said they won't change their motherboards until what? 2020 ata? Si Intel puro refresh battery. Exactly. So, yeah, that's one problem with Intel. I, 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 I'm not here masyado to discuss yung Kalokohan ni Intel when it comes to their motherboards. Uh, there, because there is. Um, I'm to, uh, when I talk about processors and performance and whatnot, hindi ko kinoconsider yun. I consider what is, what is, mer what is, what is capable, what it's capable of right now. So, yun na nga. Kung gusto mo ng upgradability, the Ryzen is much better in terms of compatibility because most likely, 4th gen Ryzen, malamang compatible pa rin yung motherboard mo. So, that's good. Um, I still won't get the Ryzen G. Kasi obviously, kukuha pa rin ako ng GPU eh. Kasi, yun na nga, sayang yung Ryzen G. Um, the only reason why you would go with the Ryzen G, I mean, ako, if I, if I were to go with the Ryzen G, the only reason why is hindi ko siya kakabitan ng GPU. Gagamitin ko yung internal GPU, gagamitin ko yung Vega, eh, nakapag CSGO ka na and whatever. Pero walang future yun. Because kakabitan mo ng GPU yun, deads na yung, no use na yung, ano, yung internal GPU. Which is, nasasayangan ako eh. That's all it is. Nasasayangan ako. Um, because to me, instead of para sa akin, ha, I don't want to I don't want to lose uh, performance. Parang ganito, eh, parang ano ba? Parang parang nagplus ka ng GPU, na bawasan ka ng na minusan ka ng GPU. I don't like that. I don't like the fact na plus GPU minus GPU. Gusto ko. Hindi ako nawawala ng system. Nawawala ng piyesa. Parang ganun. I don't know. Conservation of whatever matter, whatever. Gusto ko a system, hindi na... Kinabit ako ng GPU, wala siyang nawawala. So, ang, ang Ryzen G, gagawin ko dyan, Ryzen G lang yan. Kung gusto ko mag-upgrade, uh, kung gusto ko, gusto ko, tapos yung pag bumili ako ng bagong GPU, kakabit ko sa iba na walang GPU. Yung Ryzen G, G lang yan. Kasi, ayoko mawawala ng power, ayoko ng... Nawawala ng value. Uh, nawawala ng use yung certain... I don't know. Sorry, masyado mahaba yung discussion pa. I, it's something I I kind of... Uh, I'm, I'm kind of OCD about. I don't like... I don't like losing... The thing. Uh, well, let's see. Medyo... Speaking of Intel, yung refresh is compatible daw sa Z370 XD... I don't know. I don't like what Intel is doing. Thankfully, hindi ako masyadong not looking for an upgrade right now. Uh, honest to goodness, though, uh, ang my personal possible upgrade path for myself, ang gusto ko sanang upgrade path, if I'm going to upgrade, and I re seriously considered upgrading recently, gusto kong mag Ryzen 7 2700X, uh, which is this one. Yeah, Ryzen 7 2700X. Um, mag two two plus years na rin itong system ko with the uh, 6700 non overclocked K. So this is an Intel i7 6700 four core eight thread. Medyo malakas pa rin siya. And then for games wala siyang problema. It's 3.7 3.7 gigahertz. Uh, you know boost niya. So let's see. There it is. 3.7 GHz siya ngayon. Um, kaya pa niya. Hindi naman siya sobrang luma. Unfortunately, hindi ko na pwede upgrade yung motherboard because Intel is a god dang uh, uh, greedy ass MOTHO. So, ayaw na nila akong bigyan ng options to upgrade this motherboard with more processors and whatnot. Um, so, slightly dead-end na tong motherboard ko. Slightly dead-end na rin tong processor. Um, considered as non-current processor na yung gamit ko. Non-current uh, uh, 
architecture yung processor ko even though it's only 2 years old whatever don't care ganun talaga buhay but um kaya pa naman ng 6700 ko i think i could last another 2 years with this guy it's still a high end processor an i7 4 core 8 thread medyo na, mabagal na siya sa video rendering for me kaya kaya niya video rendering no problem but ma maarte ako eh. i use 4k video so i could i could I a little bit of performance increase would would be nice, but not gonna gonna cost me twenty thousand pesos just to upgrade. Maybe not. My point is, uh, medyo scumbag si Intel when it comes to phasing out their architecture. Uh, so, ang if if I were to take an upgrade seriously today, definitely magto twenty seven hundred X ako. I have nothing against AMD. I love their uh, uh, kasi. Ang tanong niyan, mag, mag, mag 2700X ba ako? Or, mag uh, i7 ako na 8700K? Yan. So, tingnan nyo yung price. Very similar. 8700K is nearly 20,000 pesos. Si uh, 2700X is around 17,000. 18, so, hindi naman malayo yung prices nila. Obviously, Intel has a little bit branding, branding so mas mahal siya ng konti. Um, and then, malakas naman siya, although this is 6 core 12 thread, the uh, Ryzen is 8 core 16 thread, so more more cores, more threads. Um, overall, gaming, ito pa rin yung number one. For processing stuff, for video editing, panalo yung Ryzen. Doesn't matter, both of them will be a massive upgrade for me. Ang ano lang talaga is, I don't like the fact that if I buy this, siguradong i-outdate ako ni Intel very soon. Yun ang, yun, ang yung, yun ang magiging issue ko. I don't want to invest in a 20,000 peso CPU again and then iiwanan ako sa error na naman ni Intel. Which happened already with my 6700. So sabi ko, kung nan, since AMD is competitive now, since AMD has risen, since AMD has promised na maging, masusuportahan ako ng, yung, yung motherboard ko, masusuportahan yung CPU ko for, several, for a few more years at least, Solid AMD na ako, from now on. Back then, when I built my PC with the 6700 i7, walang competitor si AMD na processor. Wala siyang Ryzen. So, yun na, yun na lang yung ano ko. Yun na lang yung ano ko. I will definitely go Ryzen next system for uh, from what I can tell based on current market standard, current market st uh, status. Yun lang. Um, I don't know why I said that, but yeah, na, na burn na ako ng buisit na Intel crap na phasing out stuff. So yeah. Uh, let's see, ano meron? Yung apala may plano pa sila gumawa ng economical Ryzen like mababa TDP. Ayaw ko nun, wala akong pakialam dyan. <laughs> Miss ko pa rin kung mag bottleneck yung 1066 gigs at G45s. No. Kahit 1080, hindi mo ba bottleneck ng, ano, ng G4560? Ano ba? <laughs> ang sakit talaga, ang hirap talaga ng, ng, hindi, uh, this is, ang sagwa talaga ng, ang sagwa talaga ng misconception sa, ano, sa, sa PC building talaga. Um, may, merong video si, ano, diba? Sin bang, kanina bang video yun? Let's see. Um, hindi ko alam yung exactly yung name eh. Uh, ah, uh, okay. Ito, si Gamers Nexus, the best. One of the best talaga. Hindi ko lang alam kung exactly saan tayo pupunta. Ayan o! Sige lang! Sige, sige lang! Nasaan yung bottleneck? Nasaan yung bottleneck? G4560 Ah, gamit siya ng 570 Ayan yung FPS FPS nga ba to? Yes Gumamit siya ng 580 Nasaan yung FPS? 1050Ti Okay mm. 1070 super clock mm. Yan 1060. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. May pinagbago? May pinagbago? May pinagbago? G4560 yan! 
May pinagbago? May pinagbago? May pinag 2.3? 0.3 FPS versus sa 1070? 0.3 FPS tinaas versus 1050 Ti? Oh, oh, oh my God! 0.5 FPS tinaas versus RX 580? Sa G4 560? Nasaan yung bottleneck? Nasaan yung bottleneck? Ayun! What is this? This is... Anong game ito? Anong game? Ba Battlefield 1. Okay. Ano na to? GPU bound na to. Kailangan natin ng CPU bound. A CPU... Ba ano ba? Ano bang... Ayan, ayan, ayan. Oh. GTA 5 1080p very high ultimate ultra... ultra. Eh, ano na yun, eh. GPU na yung nagdidictate ng process, ng performance mo dyan, eh. Kailangan super low. Wait, super low? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Eh, anyway. Walang bottleneck. <laughs> ano yun yun lang? Panawaran nyo yung si video ni Gamers Nexus. Yan, nakita nyo. Yan, uh, nakasulat dyan. When the Intel G450 uh, 4560 bottleneck GPU is 1050Ti to 1080. Right? Panawaran nyo mabuti. You will learn... The, the G4560 runs mo, uh, pretty much all, uh, pretty much all of the games in this benchmark. Siguro 9 out of 10 games in this benchmark with no bottlenecks. Ang bottleneck mo lagi is GPU, especially in games. Ang bottleneck mo lagi is GPU. Unless na lang, sobrang baba lang nung graphics nung, nung pinanalaro mo. Let's say you're playing something like uh, uh, CSGO. You're playing Dota 2 or League of Legends. Or maybe even Overwatch. Binaba mo yung settings sobra ng graphics. Siguradong CPU, CPU bottleneck yan. Uh, which means, kung ano kaya ng CPU, yun yung lang ibibigay niya. But, pag tinaas mo yung graphics settings mo ng todo-todo, siguradong yung GPU, yung CPU kaya-kaya niya iba to lahat. Pero yung GPU yung naghihirap. So, but, Ang tanong dyan is, it's a balance, it's a, it's sort of a balance, pero ang ta sa tanong dyan, bakit mo ibababa yung, kung meron kang mataas ng GPU, itaas mo yung graphic settings mo, para balance eh. Kung mababa yung GPU, mababa yung, baba mo yung ano, yung, yung settings mo. But the CPU can handle high, high, high frame rates. Alright? Alright? Kailangan, yung magandang test is yung nag-test ng super low eh. Hi. Hi. Pag nag-test ka ng super low settings, magiging GPU bound. So, GPU bottleneck test. Uh, ito ba yung test niya tama? I don't remember. Hi. So, Ay, ayoko nung ano, ayoko nung ayoko nung yung yung utak utak bottleneck, utak bottleneck sa sa mga groups. Napakasagwa ng Ayoko ng masyadong malalim advance kasi ako mag-isip. Sorry. Every single PC bottlenecks. What? You ask, you ask, Kuya Alex, tanga ka ba? Bakit sa tingin mo lahat ng PC nagbabattleneck? Oo! Lahat ng PC nagbabattleneck! Bakit? Kung hindi ka nakabattleneck, unlimited FPS mo! Ha? Ano daw? Sabi ni Alex? Taka siguro yung Alex na yun. Kaya walang kwenta yung channel ni. Sabi niya, walang, lahat ng PC may battleneck. Ulul pala yun eh. Bakit sabi ni XYXY blog? I love this laptop, by the way. Thanks Asus for sponsoring my laptop, by the way. Asus. No! Lahat ng PC may bottleneck. Tignan mo yung frame rate na yan. Kung wala kang bottleneck, nandun yung bar mo sa an infinity. That means, 82.3 lang yung kaya niya. That's the bottleneck. Ang tanong is... If mababa yung bottleneck point mo, or ito, mataas-taas yung bottleneck point mo. Gets? 
where is your bottleneck point? And hindi lang yan, hindi lang simpleng, simpleng tanong na bottleneck ba yung CPU? Bottleneck ba? Because there's so many things to consider. There's a CPU bottleneck, there's a graphics bottleneck, heck, there's a RAM bottleneck, and there's also power bottleneck. Ang tanong, bottleneck saan? Ang, sa mga groups kasi, tang, puro mga tangangot yung mga tao dun eh. Sabi lang, ay sir, bakit yan yung binili mo? Bottleneck yan. Ha? Bumili ako ng desktop na walang GPU. i7, wala pa akong GPU nun. Bottleneck ba ako? Based on the group standards, bottleneck yung i7 ko. Kasi wala akong GPU. Ay! Ba't mo binili yan, sir? Bottleneck yan. i7, walang GPU. Tanga ka ba? Ta- According to the group, tanga ako. Why? Because walang GPU daw. Ano ba pakialam ko? Wala akong pakialam sa GPU. Naglalaro ko ng ibang games. Kung CSGO yung nilalaro ko, hindi man ako mababottleneck. Wala akong GPU, kaya ako mag-CSGO. More than 120 FPS. Bottleneck ako? Bottleneck ako noon? Brains. The brains. Bottleneck. Maraming points to ponder when it comes to bottleneck. There is what game will you be playing or specifically what will you use the system for? Because I did not buy this system originally for playing games. I bought this system to to edit video. Bottleneck ako dahil nag edit ako ng video, walang GPU. Hindi! Kasi hindi naman gumagamit masyado ng GPU yung, ano, yung, yung video editing. According to the groups, tanga ako, bottleneck yung system ko. No! Because I use it as intended, walang GPU. So, ayoko ng bottleneck discussion masyado because it's a it's a very very deep pigeon hole na masakit yung usapan na masyadong malalim at technical. Kaya pagdating sa groups, meron lang mga tangangot na sasabihin, ay battle na yan. Kasi yung utak nila ganun kakitid. Ganun kakitid yung utak nila na akala nila lahat ng tao pareho nila. Akala nila lahat ng tao gusto maglaro ng games na nilalaro nila. Hindi na ma- bakit most likely, yung nilalaro nila Dota, what, CSGO, uh, sabi na natin, maybe PUBG. Ba, yung ba yung nilalaro mo? Hindi nga ako naglalaro. The... If you're going to build, sorry, nag... I like the, nasira yung green screen natin. If you're going to build a system for gaming, merong specific parameters yan para best not to bottleneck. But in general, in general, that, G- that G4560, in general, in most games, uh, I think yung CPU bound the game is like GTA 5 mostly. In most games, the G4560 does not bottleneck even with the GTX 1080. Okay? In most games, walang problema. Go ahead with the G4560. Why? Because most games do not tax the CPU so much. Most games, ang, ang, ang need for power is nasa GPU. Most games is around nasa, eh, I'd say 20-30% power ne- pa- powerful needs demanding sa CPU. 70% GPU. Alright? Most games. Most games. 30% CPU, 70% GPU. Okay? So, yung G4560, walang problema sa 30% yan for most games. Walang problema sa 30%. Yung tanong is, gano'ng katindi yung GPU mo? Kaya ni, se- na, kaya ni G4560 ng 30%, but your GPU can be this small, this small, this small, that big. Lahat ng range na yan, kayang-kaya na D4560. 
lahat ng range na yan, kayang-kaya ni G4560. It's a 3.7 gigahertz 4-thread processor. It's a 3.7 gigahertz 4-thread processor. It's like an i5. Ayoko na, hindi, hindi ko na kailangan explain You all know that. It's like an it's like a it's a four thread processor with a high clock speed. 3.7 gigahertz it's a lot. 3.7 gigahertz it's a lot for gaming. My PC is 3.7 gigahertz. And alam niyo naman clock speed is the one that generally di- di- dictates your gaming performance, your frame rate, not threads. Clock speed is the one that dictates most of your FPS when it comes to the CPU, not threads. So, the, the 3.8 gigahertz. That, that's doing turbo boost. That's why I'm about 3.8. I think your max score is 3.9. But, my point is, your G5560 is enough. Even at, with the GTX 1080. The only reason why... I would not recommend that. It's because your budget is a little high on... Yung parang i-balance mo ng konti yung... Not balance in terms of uh, uh, bottlenecks, no? They're not, you're not gonna bottleneck. But, uh, maawa ka sa sarili mo konti because you're gonna only be good for gaming is what I mean. Or only be... Actually, in G456, kahit, kahit most uses, hindi siya mahina eh. But my point here is, maawa ka sa sarili mo because... Your CPU is low end pa rin. If you're gonna yung yung typical boot up time mo, yung typical opening Chrome, yung yung manonood ka ng videos in 4K for example, if I watch this in 4K, may may hirap na yung G4560 mo for example, just get a higher end CPU because it will help you overall. Kung bibili ka ng 1080. But to, for, kung gaming lang talaga, go ahead G4560 with the 1080. And then you upgrade mo yung Yung G4560 mo later on, no worries. No worries. So, my point point here is the G4560 can handle it, no problem. Uh, it's it, it watch watch more watch more of these videos because I I I'm not I'm not explaining it well enough. I think Gamers Nexus has a really good video about if the G4560 bottlenecks. So go ahead watch that. You learn more about G4560, how it can do. Ako pinag-aralan ko na yan. Last year pa. Tapos na ako dyan. Pinag-aralan ko na yan. Lahat yan pinanood ko bago ko bin- binuo yung ba- ba- PUBG, budget PUBG build. Bago ko binuo yung budget PUBG build na 20,000 pesos, $400, pinag-aralan ko na lahat yan. Alam ko na lahat yan. Alam ko na G4560 is a solid choice na malamang hindi mo papalitan until you go up into the i7 plus levels. Kasi, baliwala yung, yung upgrade mo from i3, i5. Napakaliit. Napakaliit nung difference mo i3, i, nung, nung G4560 to i5. Maliit na difference. Maliit. Go i7. Hindi, hindi significant yung difference ng G4560 to i5 enough. Na pag meron ka ng G4560, mag i5 ka, no, sayang yung pera. Go i7, dagdaga mo na yung budget mo. Kasi sobrang lakas ng G4560 na kayang-kaya niya even with the 1080. Panoorin nyo yung videos, panoorin nyo si Steve ng Gamers Nexus, i-explain nyo sa'yo, hindi ka masi CPU bound. Tawag dyan, CPU bound or CPU bottleneck. The CPU does not, the G4560 doesn't bottleneck until you get up to into the extremely high ranges of the 1080s. Last year ko pa pinag-aralan yan. Bago, bago dumating yung Bench PC 2.0. So, alam ko na lahat. <laughs> Dinaanan ko na lahat yan. Alam ko na lahat. Ini-research ko na lahat yan. Tinignan ko kung magbabattleneck si G4560. Pinanood ko lahat ng whatever. Hindi siya nagbabattleneck. Tinesting ko pa yan. I even used the 1060 on it. Walang battleneck. Hindi sa CPU yung bottleneck for most games. Hindi sa CPU ang bottleneck for most games. Problema lang, maraming joke la shithead sa ano sa mga groups na. Hey, bottleneck yan ko yan sana nag 1080 ka, hindi ganoon kalakas niyo. Gumawa sila ng research, gumawa ko. Ay nako. Ayoko na. I hate the shit. 
<laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, uh, it depends on you, sir. Is that I'm running is his waist? I look around and then 440 money, 144 hertz, and then blah blah. That's how you're not a GPU, my parent. Go, yeah. Uh -huh. Kaya Tomb Raider, uh, G4560, 1060 high settings, papalo kaya na 60 FPS. Um, let's see this. Uh, Alam ko lowest settings yung benchmark ko dito eh. <clears throat> i3 gamit ko pero I think ano lang, okay naman yun. Let's see, uh, 1060 Galax. Ay, mali yung kinilik ko. Naklik ko yung ano, informaciones. That's the benchmarks. Sorry sa medyo Sorry sa medyo ano ba nag uh, not, hindi man triggered but more like uh, I'm passionate about this topic na lang let's let's call it that G4560 is a strong processor uh, so let's see Rise of the Tomb Raider 91.02 FPS I think I used uh, lowest settings hindi ko na ex If you want you, you can watch this nakalimutan ko na yung alam ko lowest settings ako lagi eh um, so you're getting 90 FPS. Let's say let's say let's just lower settings, you know. Uh, yeah, first strike at 5835. What about 5835? Oh no 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 no! Sorry sorry sorry. Ano pala yon? <laughs> this is the 1050 pala. No, that's not it. We're looking at. Takpan natin yun. Takpan natin. That's not useful. We're looking at this. This is the 1060. Okay. 112.71 FPS. I think you can hit 60 FPS, no problem. Pero lowest settings ito so far. So, um, since lowest settings yung 117, isipin mo na lang, itaas mo yung settings, aabot ka rin ng, bababa yan, let's say, paabotin mo ng 70, 70 FPS, solve ka na sa, sa high settings. I don't, I don't have a 1060 right now to test for you. I see, ano yun, I see Rise. Eh. 9,000 points of Fire Strike. Ah, G4560 yung gamit ko. Look at this. Ah. Akala ko I3 yung gamit ko dito, eh, but G4560 pala yung gamit ko. Here you go. So, this is a G. Ito, here's a good way to see yung, yung ano, yung. A little bit of a glimpse of what a G4560 can do with a 1060, for example. Um, yeah, G4560 can use it here. So your fire strike with a 1060 is 9,144. Your uh, your Rise of the Tomb Raider is 100, 112. 112.71. Your fire strike is 9144. Your GTA 5 is 73 is FPS at slightly medium settings. May wala kasing full uh, walang full low low ano full full lowest settings si GTA. Maraming mga weird options si GTA na middle of the ground eh. So GTA 73 FPS 112.71 si ano si fire strike. Yeah, ito you can see you can see that the 1050 here. Yan, G4560. And then, uh, G, G4560 pa rin, pero 1060. Oh, si na-bottleneck ba yung 1060 ko? Na-bottleneck ba yung 1060 ko? Ha? Huh? Na-bottleneck ba siya? Like, 5835, Fire Strike. 5835, 9144. Na-bottleneck ba? 
Keep in mind, kasama sa, kasama sa score ng Fire Strike yung CPU performance. Not bottleneck. Not bottleneck. Uh, kung isasama mo yung CPU performance, yes. But when it comes to gaming performance, walang, walang mangyayari dyan. Walang difference. Uh, let's see. Uh... Bottleneck is a kind of hardware limitation in computer. Bottleneck occurs when the capacity for an application or computer system is severely limited by a single component. Severely limited na. I mean, that's a, 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 a slightly looser definition. A, a, a legit philosophical level bottleneck is hindi in, pag battle, in, ba bottleneck ang system mo pag hindi infinite ang, ang ano. Kasi sa group sigurado lang mga gagong tangangot dyan eh. Ay, hindi umabot ng 400 FPS bottleneck ka sir. Oh, hindi ka umabot ng 400 FPS eh, bottleneck yan. Ani mo 400 FPS? Ani mo yung 400 FPS? Wala kang monitor umabot ng 400 FPS eh. Ani mo yun? Hmm? Bottleneck yan, sir. Maraming gago sa group. Uh, let's see. Next topic. Sorry naman. Uh, before and after. Neat pa si Kuya. I know, right? Uh, at least it's additional na tutunan ko after another uh, bottleneck anyway. Marami ko na napapanood sa benchmark still here print ko ha kanilang understand on it. Yeah, ano talaga? It's it's uh, I I I just have to say yung G4560 talaga. There's uh, there's a lot of people talaga na masyadong minamaliit yung G4560. I did I done my research. I done my research. I pinanood ko yung it's, probably 50 videos about G4560 kila Gamers Nexus kila wala si Linus nung video na yun uh, si uh, Jace Two Cents alam ko may G4560 basta si Gamers Nexus yung pinakadetalya din na, na ano ko but I done my research G4560 is honestly kung gamer ka lang hindi mo man kailangan ng more than G4560 totoo lang Siguro kung nasa 144Hz ka na, hindi mo na you need higher clock speed, you need higher cores. But average gamer na siguro yung 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 pangarap mo i5, the G4560 is good enough. Uber ami na ata ako tech YouTubers na sa subs, sa pa sobra. Okay na okay, okay na okay rin ba si G4560 sa mga normal game like Dota 2? Just go ahead. Kaya mo lang problema. Oh my god. Yan yung pinaka-common co comment. Alam mo yun? Yung pinaka-common question. Dota 2 CSGO, no GPU. just ko, wala. wala. Hindi mo kailangan ng GPU dun. Dota 2 CSGO, no GPU, no problema. Kahit G4560, kaya-kaya. Walang problema. Uh, sa groups, puro FPS, sinitignan nila addict sa FPS. Yeah. As long as you're getting 60 FPS, if your monitor is 60 FPS, then you're fine. Kasi hindi naman makikita sa monitor mo yung difference eh. Uh, kung if you're benchmarking, go ahead. If you're benchmarking, pataasin mo yung FPS mo. Pero, you don't need more than that. You probably want to limit your FPS lang para hindi malakas gumasas ng kuryente yung system mo eh. Ako, uh, sometimes, din-disable ko yung V-Sync. No? Kasi mas maganda yung, mas konti yung lag sa pag walang V-Sync. But, as much as possible, I don't want my FPS to go over like 90. Because bali wala na yun. Hindi ko nagagamit yung frames na yun. Hindi ko nakikita. I use a 60 hertz monitor. Um, so, importante sa akin is uh, matamahan ko yung 60 hertz. Matamahan ko yung 60 FPS. Well, anything above 60 FPS, walang problem. Wala akong pakialam. Pero I target mga 90 FPS para pag nag-drop yung FPS ko, pag nag nagkaroon ng maraming bugs, sabugan or whatever, hindi ako bababa less than 60 FPS. So, yun yung target ko, mga around 90. Uh, pero hindi ko nakikita yung 90 FPS na yun. That's why, it's slightly waste of computer power to go above 90 if you're just 60 Hz. To go above 90 is wasting power, uh, uh, wasting kuryente, wasting yung reliability ng system mo. Because magi the more you push your system over the FPS that you need, is masasayang yung 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 longevity ng CPU and GPU mo, longevity ng fans mo because they have to spin faster dahil madalas magiinit din yung CPU, yung yung device, yung yung laptop, yung device mo, yung PC mo faster 
na hindi mo man appreciate yung more than more than more higher FPS, di ba? If you're not appreciating the higher FPS, then why are you wanting your PC to render more than the the needed FPS? Kasi you're adding more wear and tear to your device. Let's say parang kotse yan na nirereb mo ng sangkatutak pero yung takbo mo 10 kilometers per hour or may nirereb mo ng sangkatutak pero nasa 60 kilometers per hour zone ka lang. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yung kotse mo na nirereb mo na parang yung kotse uh, whatever. So, you get what I mean. Uh, kilala group ba yan? Alam ko na kung ano group pero usapan puro usapan FPS. Eh. Ako nga, I use 1060 until now and sa so VX15 ko, uh, 1050 no problem. Okay pa kaya't, okay pa ako sa 30 FPS. FPS. Okay naman 30 FPS, but uh, certain games. Okay, actually 30 FPS. As, ang, 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 masyado na tayong nag ano, sa PC stuff. Kailangan naman mag-move on. Um, okay, I wanna mention, I don't like FPS fluctuations. Masakit sa mata yung FPS fluctuations. I don't care kung nagfa- let's say nagfa-fluctuate ka between 50 60 FPS. Masakit sa mata yon. Yung between yung 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 different yung kasi yung mata mas ito yan ah. Your brain and your eyes work in a certain way. And kung may gap may gap yung frames mo and then biglang bumilis, yung bumabagal, tapos bibilis, sakit sa mata nun. Okay? Yan yan. Okay. So, if something slows down and speeds up yung frame rate, okay lang mabagal, okay lang 30 FPS, basta solid 30 FPS, hindi masakit sa mata. Hindi masakit sa utak. Pero kung 30 yan, na umakit ng 40, bumababa ng 30, it's better to just stay 30. It's better to just stay 30. Masakit sa mata yung 30 umakit ng 40 mo mababa. Umakit, mababa. Masakit sa mata kasi nag adjust yung, yung utak mo. Doon sa speed. And gumagano, yung utak mo parang, ah, ano nangyayari? Ba't bumibilis mo bagal? If it's a constantly decent, uh, sa ano yan eh, yung 32 millisecond refresh yan, pag 30 fps eh. Okay lang sa mata mo yun. Okay lang sa brain mo yun. Pero kung umaakit, bumaba yung frame rate, ang sakit sa mata nun. Just, just, in, just keep that in mind. If you can't hit 60 FPS solid, don't try, don't try to do like 50, 60 na bumaba ng 50 or, or 30, umaakit na ma- 30 yung, tar- yung ano mo, tapos umaakit ng konti sa 30. Sakit nun. Sakit sa mata. Anyway. Uh... Kuya, di ba may kasama na stock fan yung G4560? Need ko ba palitan yung... Mas... No, hindi mo kailangan palitan, kuya. No. Eh, na naman tayo sa groups na naman. Nag- ako naman siguro sa groups yung in- knowledge mo. Ako naman <laughs> siguro sa groups yung knowledge. The knowledge. Oh, man. Uh... Naalala ko, nilaro ko yung watchdog sa PC namin, 20 to 30 FPS. Tapos tumingin ako... Sa dingding namin, 60 FPS na bigla. Okay, ito eh. eh. <laughs> Hindi 60 FPS yun, more than 60 FPS yun, kuya. I just wanna tell you something. Um, based on an actual scientific study, our eyes can see between 215 or 220 na lang to 260 FPS. Alright? Okay, so, tandaan nyo mabuti. Our eyes... It's it's slightly muddy, slightly weird how our brain interprets it because our brain interprets motion in pl- in in splotches of light, in splotches on our eyes. So hindi lahat nagre-refresh sa utak natin. Yan na. Ah. Is, I'm tr- hopefully hopefully you like this kind of content in our show. Kasi I'm tr- I'm trying to maybe diversify or maybe add a little bit of knowledge into our show. Our brain interprets eyesight differently than what you think. It it refreshes certain parts of our eyesight in in batches, in small little areas like this. So, tumatama lang dito, tumatama dun minsan. But, the refresh rate on how much it refreshes ang mata natin is between 220 to 260 frames per second. 
All right, keep that in mind. Our eyes can see up to 260 frames per second. Not the entire view, but our brain processes in 260 FPS. So, the maximum our brain can appreciate a monitor is up to 260 hertz. Right? So, hindi totoo na sinasabi nila the eye can only see 30 FPS. The eye can only see 60 FPS. Mali sila. Based on scientific research, our eyes can see up to 260 FPS. Our eyes can see 260 FPS. More than that, hindi na natin nakikita. So, 260 FPS is a lot. 260 hertz. Sa monitor, in, term, in monitor terms, that's hertz. So, you keep that in mind when you're buying or when you're considering when tumingala ka, hindi 60 FPS yung tingala mo. Wala na, just trying to be share some share some knowledge, no? Our eyes when tumingala ka after the game, no? Kung tumingala ka, that's 260 FPS. 260 FPS ang pag tumat, if that's why we cannot, that's why our eyes know, we know that a video game is a video game because it's not moving at 260 FPS like real life. Now, tingnan mo, isipin mo na lang to reach a realistic level. Actually, gusto niyo mala, nakalimutan ko na but our eyes are actually may megapixels din yung mata natin. We have I think 100 megapixels on our eyes. Hindi lahat, hindi it, like I said, our brain does this splotch thing sa mata. But our eyes is like 100 or I think 200 megapixels overall. Think about it. For a for something to be photorealistic to our mind, that's in sobrang super realistic, the video that we have to see, the screen we have to see, is around 200 megapixels, 260 FPS. Right? So that's how that's how you know it's super realistic when it reaches 200 megapixels. And 260 FPS. Huh? You learned something new? I think? Um, so, why did I say, the? why did the research say, ang, ang ano mo is between 220 to 260 FPS yung mata mo? Well, ganito yan. Kung inaanto ka, kung uh, uminom ka ng alak, kung nag, nag-downer ka, bumabagal yung FPS ng mata mo. Okay? Bumabag- Kaya naman aksidente ka pag, um- pag uminom ka ng alak eh, Kasi mabagal yung FPS ng mata mo rin eh. Ha? Make sense Okay And then kung uminom ka ng let's say uh, Cocaine <laughs> Wag ka na, oh, don't, don't do drugs Okay uh, If you drink some things like this mga caffeine, ca- High caffeine drinks Or high energy drinks Tumataas yung FPS ng mata mo I'm not saying you should do that Okay That's not good Don't don't mag, pa, ba, Sinabi ni Alex Pag uminom ako ng soft drinks Kumaganda yung reaction time ko No Don't do that Right But this is just a side An effect in your brain Bumibilis yung action ng brain Bumibilis yung, yung What your brain processes No So Honestly 220 to 260 FPS Mabilis pa rin yan And kahit sobrang bagal ng metabolism Bagal ng mata mo 220 FPS is still Very fast for gaming So you don't really need Soft drinks or whatever, no? Don't, don't, mong mo sabihin na, sinabi ni Alex, kung may lang ng soft drinks para bumilis yung reaction ko, no? Your normal reaction time is, sabi, i-average mo yung 220, 260, 240 FPS, it's more than enough. Um, so, ano ba yung point ko doon? Nasaan na ba ako? Nasaan na ba tayo? <laughs> Uh, all right. So here, uh, balik tayo dun sa make, make, I think na I think bago ako dumating din sa ano eh. So 144 hertz na usapan niyo. Eh. Uh All right. Ano kinaganda ng 144 hertz monitor? Okay, so hopefully medyo you, we can relate what I just talked to you about dun sa 144 hertz monitor. Because most games uh and developers will say okay na yung 30 fps, okay na yung 60 fps. Um, and then the PC, the PC master race, we know that it's not. I just told you fa- not five minutes ago that our eyes can see minimum of 220 FPS, a maximum of 260 FPS. So the 60 FPS myth 
the 30 FPS myth is not true. The more FPS up to a max of 260, the better. You know, and done. Hence, scientifically proven. Na. Right. So, the reason why importante yung sinasabing 144Hz monitor is it refreshes 144 times per second. Like I said, our IC minimum 220 times per second. The monitor gives us 144 times per second. So, hindi totoo na hindi mo makikita yung difference between kasi a lot of people say hindi mo makikita yung difference between 60 hertz and 144 hertz that's not true it's absolutely true that you will see a difference between 60 refresh rate 60 frames per second and 144 refresh rate because we see everything minimum 220 frames per second that's why kung nagmamaneho ka ang ganda nung kung totoong buhay na nagmamaneho ka everything is happening kind of slow motion pero pag naglaro ka ng video game 60 fps medyo uh, but uh, ang bagal ko mag react anyway uh, for the most part 60 fps is okay for the most part for most of our brains for most of our most of our gaming 60 fps is okay even 30 fps is okay but if you're playing competitive games if you're playing games that are super dependent on reaction time the better the refresh rate, the better. Because, like I said, we our eyes see 220 frames per second or more. The closer you get, yung monitor mo, to get up to 220 frames, 260 frames per second, the better. So, uh, ang, ang ano dyan is, yung 144Hz is about as close as it can get right now to natural, realistic eye frame rate. Merong monitor, I'm not saying in there, very rare, actually hindi super rare, but, but uncommon na lang. There are 240 hertz monitors out in the wild today. Meron si Asus, available sa Pilipinas. 240 hertz monitors. Yun halos, basically our eyes na yun. Basically our eyes. 240 hertz monitor. So, if you really want the number, the top most para super reaction speed when it comes to monitor refresh, you want to get the 240 hertz. I don't recommend it so much. Okay, now it's a 144. Anything, uh, ha, God damn it. Like I said, naka 60 hertz lang ako. Naka 60 hertz lang ako. Ako. Naka 60 hertz lang ako. Pay, pity me. <laughs> but, you know, point ko. So, um, the question, the reason why a lot of not a lot of people are still going to even 240 hertz. Let's say 144 is major standard now. The reason why not a lot of people are still going 144 hertz is hindi kaya ng PC nila. Because ito yan eh. So, ang current target ng most computers, ng most gaming computers is 60 hertz. 60 FPS. Uh, kaya ng CPU mo. Kaya ng GPU mo 60 hertz, but 144 hertz is around 2.5 times more frames per second. No, actually, ilam ba? Six times? Uh, point six times? I don't know. I don't know math. Hindi ako marunong magmath. My brain hurts now. One for let's say two point something times, more than two times faster frames per second than 144 hertz versus 60 hertz. So your PC, kung nagsa struggle na siya sa 60 hertz. So 60 frames per second has to be 2 point something times faster to render 144 frames per second. Now, meron ding may caveat yan. You don't have to have a PC that runs 144 hertz. If it runs at 100 frames per second, at least nakikita mo pa rin. Hindi dapat, hindi required na umabit ka ng 144 FPS. Ang monitor na 144 hertz will accommodate for any frame rate below it. So it is a ceiling. So 144 hertz fastest response uh, fastest re re refresh na, uh, frame rate na. But kung tumama ka ng 90 frames per second, it will display 90 frames per second. Which is still much better than 60 frames per second. So that's why if your PC is fast enough to render more than 60 frames per second and tumatama ka ng 100 
ang ang ideal number yan is around 100 frames per second. Kung tumatama ka ng 100 frames per second, and may pera ka, and nagkalaro ka ng mga Overwatch, CSGO, and then very, very competitive, high reaction, very, very acute reaction time games, very, you know, you might be interested, you might want to try out the 144 hertz monitor or faster. Meron ding 200, ah, meron ding 120 hertz monitor if nagtitipid ka, pero hindi uso. Meron ding, I think, 75 and 90 hertz. But I think, for a standard, let's go 144 hertz na talaga. Alright? So, point, let's, let, let's, let's, uh, let's uh, finish up the topic by summarizing, no? Um, our eyes can see 220 hertz or more. Monitors are 60 hertz. If your PC can handle more than 60 hertz and is around on the 100 frames per second level sa games that are very twitchy and very reaction time specific, then you might consider a 144 hertz monitor. Hindi naman sila sobrang mura. Ayoko lang nung design sometimes. Um, and uh, the thing is, medyo mahal sila. Mahal lang konti yung 144 hertz monitor. And they're generally limited to 1080p. Kasi yung, 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 yung Quad HD na 144 hertz Actually, in Quad HD na 60 hertz mal na rin. Eh. And yung Quad, and obviously, parating na yung 4K, I think, na 120 hertz. Ata. Generally, 1080p ang bagsak mo, which is okay naman for competitive games. Okay naman for CSGO. Okay naman for Lo League of Legends or Dota. Ah, sa totoo lang, you, a lot of the League of Legends or Dota players na professional, they use higher frame rate. They use 144 hertz. Kasi, mapilis yung reaction kahit na si kahit na hindi masyadong like aim aim specific yung uh, one for yung yung League of Legends or Dota yung certain projectiles nakikita mo at much better hindi okay, sabi natin ang projectile is traveling fast ang 60 hertz monitor makikita mo dito 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 pag 144 hertz monitor makikita mo yung projectile dito 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 it's much more smooth sa mata mo Sorry, medyo malalim yung explanation or medyo mahirap i-explain. Your eye sees more than what the monitor shows. So, if you the monitor can show more, your eyes can see more. Yan lang. Time to eyeing that HKC after the rig. HKC, yung, yung ba yung ano? Kaya lang walang, wala yung ano, wala silang one, um, wala nga ba silang 144. Anyway. When it comes to 144 hertz monitors, meron yan mga 15,000 pesos yung 1080p 144 na 24 inch. And then 19,000 yung 27 inch. And then medyo nagmamahal na sila after that. Um, hopefully na, hopefully medyo na, na natulungan kayo ng konti uh, sa informasyones. Sa informasyones na to. Ako naman, so... In my defense, uh, I opted, uh, namamahalan kasi ako sa 144Hz monitor, kahit ngayon mahal pa rin, pero do, uh, a year or so ago, namamahalan ako, and I, I, I didn't, I, not a lot of games that I play are very twitchy, are very timing focus or you know, I play a lot of like single player games, I play a lot of yung mga uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider is something I play a lot, no? yung mga ganong types of games. I like, uh, see Linus Tech Tips, Pag pinunod mo siya, yun yung isa. I like very scenery type. Uh, 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 parang hindi masyadong demanding in terms of uh, Twitch reaction times type of games. no So, for me and even Linus Tech Tips or Linus Sebastian yung pangalan niya. No? Para sa amin, we prefer high resolution, less frames. So ako, I opted for a 4K TV. I use a 4K TV, malaki. It's a 43-inch 4K TV. Heck, do you want to see it? I don't know if you've seen my 4K. Um, I know, marami sa inyo nakakita na nito, but there you go. There's my, there's my 4K TV. It's running at 1080p right now because of BTS. But normally, I run it in 4K. So there's my 4K TV. That's where I play games on. Uh, it's a very nice, big TV, no? Um, and I play a lot. I play racing games on it. Have you seen my steering wheel? Baka hindi pa, kung hindi nyo napanood yung start ng show, ayan, I, I was showing my steering wheel. I play racing games. God, uh, Project Cars is so fun. Assetto Corsa is fun too, pero naglaro ako ng Project Cars kahapon. Wala, wala akong nagawa sa buong araw. Naglaro lang ako Project Cars. 
was just driving a uh, uh, Toyota 86 or a Scion FRS sa ano sa ano to? Nordschleife which is uh, the, the the Nürburgring on translation Nordschleife holy crap ang sarap just ah oh god and admittedly since racing games is a little reaction reaction speed focused medyo natetempt ako just because of racing games to invest in a 144 hertz monitor because makikita yung yung smoothness ng kotse mo is so much more nice is so much more uh uh so much more natural so much more noticeable yung race mo makakarea ka faster sa corners mararamdaman mo faster yung difference ng road kung tumatalon ka makikita mo uy mga tumatalon na ako kailangan ko mag-react hindi yung parang 60 fps na talon mo ganun ay I'm dramatizing a little bit ang problema ko lang is kung mag-144 hertz ako the, the graphics are not gonna look as good the graphics are gonna be 1080p this is 4k you have no idea 4K is so beautiful when you're watching it. Um a lot of difference in in visual clarity. Um I can't imagine right now playing a 1080p for for racing game because it looks blech, it looks bland so far. I know most people play 1080p no. Um medyo maarte lang talaga ako. Wow. Whew. That topic though. <laughs> that tangent. That kalokon. Oh my god. You have no idea. Have you seen a racing game in 4K? Moto bene. Tama ba? Tama ba yung Italian ko? Uh, Redmi 6A is sold at Lazada. Oh, tap- sorry. Tapos na yung Redmi 6A topic. By the way, nandito yun eh. Tapos, uh, hindi siya mabilis. Med- medyo, um, not for PUBG Mobile. Don't play PUBG Mobile on this. Shoutout sa mga tumingala. <laughs> Says, Jonathan Nava, nandito pa rin, dude. <laughs> uh, let's see, ano pa ba? So, all jokes aside, I learned a lot. So, hopefully, ma-retain mo yan, Kuya Benj. Uh, parang naglalaro ka ng lang okay time to ayang the GT86 uh, may isa ako kilala may balak sa driving wheel eh, pero may nakita siya rin sa CDR King mahal daw kasi eh, ang rig which is true naman nagkakalaro ng F100 rally um, okay so when it comes to racing wheel no um, medyo dip Hopefully, may budget siya ng konti. Kasi I, I would not suggest yung CDR King. But kung medyo bata siya and whatnot, and gusto niya lang medyo arcade racing games, no? Okay lang. Um, but malaking difference when when you get the force feedback. Kasi ang, most yung mga racing wheel sa labas, so sorry, medyo, mula sa medyo, mag, ma, medyo niche topic, magiging super niche topic tayo ngayon sa racing games. Um... <laughs> Hopefully, not, hopefully you still like this kind of content, no? Um, force feedback in a racing wheel is like 90% of what the racing wheel is, okay? So, in the, the, the analog controls ng steering, the analog controls ng acceleration, braking, and clutch is help, helpful because... But you can have analog control anywhere. You have... You can yung mga uh, yung mga gamepad mo analog control, but the thing you cannot get from a racing wheel, and the reason why you would get a racing wheel, 90% of the reason, the important, the importance of a racing wheel is not the way you analogly control a, uh, a car, because you can do analog controls anywhere. Nakita niyo yung mga ano yon yung do it, do it yourself na uh, wood racing wheel sim. Meron yon de ba? Hindi. Ngayon, gumawa ng ano eh. Saan yun? Sa Facebook ko nakita yun eh. Gumawa siya ng, gumawa siya ng racing wheel. Kahoy yung racing wheel niya. Yung actuator niya ng analog is kahoy din and what not. Lahat niya ginawa yun. The reason why you... But unfortunately, wala siyang force feedback. The reason why force feedback is so important is... 
siya lang yung way mo para malaman mo kung anong ginagawa nung nung kotse mo sa gul, sa ano sa 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 daan. Uh, example. Ang race itong G G27 ko na Logitech. Pagka tumalon yung kotse mo, tumalon yung kotse mo, di ba? Ganun. Mangat ng konti yung gulong niya sa sa, sa sa daan. Yung G456, yung G, G4560, yung Logitech G27 mo, gaganon yung ano, yung yung wheel niya, gaganon yung yung Actually, meron siyang actuator or whatnot. Yung may mga vibration siya, may, may steering feedback siya. Na yung, yung, yung mismong steering wheel mo, mararamdaman kung magano, gumaganon. Okay, bukod pa dyan. Nag, let's say, nagmamaneho ka. So, tapos, yung gulong mo, lumabas ng konti sa, ano, sa daan. So, nasa, yung gulong mo, nasa, nasa graba, nasa, nasa, soil? Ano yung soil? <laughs> nasa, Nasa lupa. So, nagmamaneho ka, tumama sa lupa yung gulong mo. Mararamdaman mo yung G27 na wheel. Yung right side niya, medyo nagsishake. Mga ganun yung, ano, yung wheel mo. That's force feedback. Bukod, meron pa, meron pa. Okay. So, nagmamaneho ka, di ba? Ginanun mo, yung, yung, yung turn mo is pa kanan. Right? So, nagmamaneho ka. Ginanun mo, tapos bina, 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 binarega mo pa kanan yung, ano, yung, yung uh, yung steering mo. Yung force feedback niya, lalabanan ka. Pag ginanong, bah! gaganunin mo yung steering mo. Why? Because yung kotse mo, ginanon mo muna sa kaliwa, hindi ba? So, yung kotse mo, pag ganito. Pinalo mo yung steering wheel pag ganito, yung kotse mo, lalaban sa'yo, gaganito yung kotse mo. Pa! Gaganito yung kotse mo, di ba? So, pag ginanong yung steering mo, dapat lalaban yung kotse mo. Po, gaganunin mo siya. That's force feedback. Hindi nagagawa ng mga, mga CDR King yun. Unfortunately. So, ang CDR King is, wala ka nararamdaman. Ang CDR King is, lahat yan, kahit yung mga cheap na, marami sa Lazada actually. Dami ko nakikita kasi marami ko na research na steering wheel. So, let's go to Lazada. Uh, racing wheel. Mga ganyan. Uh, yeah, yung mga ganito. Yeah, yeah. Ito, ang dami nila. Mukura nga lang ito eh. 459, no? Diba? So, uh, yan, ang dami niya supported con- supported na areas ano, supported na games and what not and system. Ang problema niya, wala kang walang pakiramdam. So nagmamaneho ka, ginanoon mo yung steering mo, ginanoon mo kaliwat, ginanoon mo. Wala, wala kang nararamdaman, okay lang. So yung yung tendency ng kotse mo, hindi mo alam na mag te- may tendency yung kotse mo na pumalo sa kaliwa. So yung yung kotse mo nakaganito, di ba? Kinaliwa mo kana ni eh. So, gumagano yung kotse mo, hindi mo alam. So, gumagano yung kotse mo, papano mong, hindi mo alam na ginanon mo lang, bakit hindi ako gumagalaw? Anong ngyayari? Yung kotse ko nakagani, yung kotse mo kasi nakaganito. So, yung force feedback tells you na yung kotse mo nakaganito. That's why, lumalaban yung steering mo, lalabanan mo rin siya, ang kailangan mo rin, baguhin yung, baguhin yung, yung weight, yung weight na placement ng kotse mo para kumagat yung gulong mo para makapag-steer ka pa ganun. Right? So, ang problema niyan, kung hindi mo nararamdaman yung gaganunin mo yung steering mo, hindi mo alam bakit hindi ka nagkumakanan. Because, according to force feedback, tinab- sinabi sa akin ng force feedback based on racing like that, kulang ng, kulang ng grip yung ano ko, kulang ng grip yung harap ko para kumagat yung ano. Plus, Yung bali kong ganun, yung bali kong ganun, binigyan ko ng weight yung kaliwa. So, binigyan ko ng tendency yung kotse ko pumunta sa kaliwa. Right? May mga ganun. Um, so, force feedback helps a lot in giving you a a good idea of what your car, especially the wheels, are con- are, are doing on the ground. Um, will, will you be able to race decently with one of these? Sure. Kaya mo namang gawa ng paraan kung hindi mo nararamdaman yung gulong mo, hindi mo nararamdaman yung yung shakiness ng kotse mo or kung kasi for example, yung kotse kung yung 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 gulong mo nagsispin tas walang tinat- hindi tumatama sa yung let's say tinapakan mo yung accelerator tas wala siyang grip. Kaya ganun yung wheels mo, di ba? Bakit hindi ako maandar? Eh kasi gumagana yung wheels mo, hindi ko maangat. So in in one of these racing wheels uh hindi mo mararamdaman na gumaganon yung wheels mo. Hindi ko makagat. But they here, dito sa, dito sa Logitech na 
na may force feedback, mararamdaman mo, gumaganon yung wheels mo. Mararamdaman mo na, oh, hindi ako makagat. Teka lang, adjust ko yung, adjust ko yung acceleration ko. In-adjust ko yung acceleration ko, gaganon yung wheels mo. Baba, babagal ng konti. Pak! Kakagat yung, yung, yung wheels mo. And then, okay, saka mo dagdagan ng acceleration. Boom! Okay. Gaganon ko na. Pero kung hindi mo alam yun, tinapakan mo lang yung accelerator mo, gumaganon siya. Ay, ano nangyayari? Bakit di ako gumagalaw? Or hindi ako nag, hindi siya nagpupush kung saan ako nagpupush. Because wala kang grip. Hindi ko makagat. Pitawa mo ng konti accelerator mo, gaganon siya, babagal siya, kukuha siya ng kakagat na siya, kakagat, 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 ba, 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 ba. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> masyado nung malalim so I guess it's, it's too much into the simulation my, my, my take is if for casual gaming lang for casual racing lang yung mga need for speed mga what not okay naman just go give it a try especially yung mga affordable lang yung CDR King affordable lang yun medyo sirain pero okay lang kung, kung casual lang na racing kaya kaya walang problema and casual and arcade like racing kaya kaya but um Binibigyan ko lang ng reason why importante yung force feedback. Binibigyan ko ng importansya why ang difference nito or yung mga CDR King variant versus yung totoong racing wheel for force feedback. Tingnan tingnan mo to, magkano to? Magkano itong pinaka magkano tayong pinakamura no? 4,000. Nakita ko 2,000 sa taas eh. Eh, ito 2,909. So mas mura pa rin ito. Ito yung pinakamura na nakita natin. So look at this. This one, yan. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. Wala lang talagang force feedback. So, uh, degree rotation, ABS gaming, vibration. So, may vibration siya. I don't know kung accurate yung vibration or not, but it vibrates. Um, steering wheel with pedals. So, okay naman. You know, if you're just gonna play occasionally racing games, hindi ka ser so, super seryoso, or bata lang siya, or medyo nagsusubok lang, nagsusubok ka, Pwede mong subukan lang with uh, a simple non-force feedback racing wheel. Kaanin mo lang na kung gusto mo talagang pumasok sa, sa hobby na racing, no? Or gusto mo lang talaga mag-trip-trip na, okay, meron lang akong ginagalaw. And it it really helps to, naman na meron kang accuracy in terms of steering and actually accuracy in terms of acceleration. But to really want to be getting into this kind of thing, you want force feedback. Um, teka lang, babasa ako ng comments and... I'll give you uh, some alternatives. Ito, it, I just want to say, uh, yung racing wheel ko na ito, nabili ko second hand for 7,500. So, hindi siya masyadong... Uh, yung brand yun nito, 20,000 eh. <laughs> kulang pa. Kulang, may bibili ka pa ng extra part. So, uh, a little bit annoying na medyo mahal siyang... Ano. Then, 7,500 is no joke, right? 20,000 is serious no joke. But, medyo... Medyo lucky ako na nakakuha ako ng 7,500. Kahit pa paano, if you just look a little bit, you know, more actively sa mga, mga second-hand places, you might be able to find one. Uh, kung, kung interesado talaga sa medyo serious na racing scenario, uh, yung, sino ta? Yung kilala mo, akala ko pamangkin mo or something. Eh. Um, so, here's one. Minodify niya na to. I like this modification. So, let's go. Tanggalin natin yung mukha ko sa screen. I like this one. So, here's his steering wheel. Um, In-upgrade niya yung steering wheel. Pinalaki niya tong hawakan niya to. Pinalta niya yan. Minodify niya. That's pretty cool. That's not bad. Okay pa rin ako doon sa standard. Um, medyo okay din yung table niya. Mukhang bakal eh. Uh, pero hindi yata binibenta yung, bakal, yung table. Ayan yung ano niya. Logi Ay, bakit? Ano to? G bakit? Ganun yung G27 niya, walang button. Hindi ba G25 ito? Baka G25. Mas lumang version yung G25. Kasi yung G27 may button. Pero, eh, anyway. <laughs> ito, feeling ko yung, yung actual steering wheel na tinanggal niya is G25. Anyway. Sorry naman. Um, also, you wanna go to maybe Facebook. Dito ako nakabili. Sa Facebook ako nakabili. Ah, hindi. Hindi pala ako sa, sa OLX pala ako nakabili. So, puta ka sa marketplace. Chamba-chamba lang. Chamba-chamba lang. Logitech G27. Yan. So, meron dito 10,000. Medyo mahal. 9,000. Ito yata yung sira yung clamp eh. So, in good condition, 9,000 pesos. Bolton steering wheel. 
minor issue. Uh, cham- chamba-chamba to kasi minsan hindi talaga sila. Yung pag mga over a week ago, minsan sold na. Yan, chamba-chamba, chamba-chamba. G29 yung bago. Ay, nako, anong nangyari sa Facebook ko? Oh? Logitech G29. Yan, ito yung mas mahal. Ito yung gusto ko sana. Ito, 16.5 oh. 16.6. Actually, merong sa OLX na 15K. Nasaan ba yun? Yung rush sale yun eh. Ay, Logitech 29. G29. May, may rush sale nito. Ay, oo, hindi ka mo. 14,000. Ito actually maganda to kasi bago yung G29. It is the brand new model. Ang problem nito is wala siyang included shifter. So, bibili ka pa ng shifter which is around 3,000 pesos. So, yung itong 14 mo, dadiga. pero ang, ang brand new nitong G29 is, pakita ko sa inyo, uh, ah. categories. Ay, anong pinindot ko? Uh, PlayStation accessories. So, asa na yun? Ito yun, ito yung brand new. 19,000. Actually, actually, natatempt akong bilhin nito noon eh. Mga one, one month ago, munti kong bilhin to. G29 na 20,000. Kasi mura na yung 20,000, dati 24,000. Ito yung, tingnan mo yung original price, 22,500. <laughs> Ay, nako. Um, pero na, I'm very satisfied with the G27. And sakto lang, nabili ko 7,500. Thank you sa so nagbenta sa akin. Kung tapa akong mawa ng Sunday. <laughs> Yun, um, I'm just trying to show, uh, give you the reasons why force feedback is important, you know. Um, like I said, kung casual, casual racing lang, pwedeng walang force feedback, no problem. Anyway, um, holy shit, ang ganda ng force feedback. <laughs> Bakit? Sa dramatization ko ba? <laughs> I think I saw a DIY using a mouse and a seat. Yeah, 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 yun 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 nakita ko. Uh, wow, force feedback. Hindi kaya sa mga arcade sa takte mga nilal. May konting force feedback sila mga initial D, pero konti lang. Uh, nakikita mo yung wheel nila minsan pag pinitawan mo, di ba? Mga ganon. Um, uh, Oo oh nga, yung mga ma- blog. Ma- ma- <laughs> may mga, hindi, may mga may mga games na walang force feedback kasi talagang pag, pag hinampas mo yung steering, mga ganon. Mga ganon. Uh, meron din namang may force feedback. Uh, alam ko naglalaro ka dati yung sobrang bulok ako kasi sobrang ba- wala akong alam sa gaming. Eh, hindi naman walang alam pero uh, hindi ko alam na ganun kahirap yung mga games. Nung punta ako sa pinsa ko dati, meron Daytona Arcade. Tsaka lakas yung Daytona. Daytona siya. Tapos yung, yung, yung steering niya talaga lumalaman pag bumangga ka, bag! Wagat siya. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Do you think Nokia 3.1 will be the competitor of Redmi 6A when it launch at the same price? Ano ba si Nokia 3.1? Balik na. <laughs> Back to the phones. GN, si, si Kuya GN says, wow, Game 1. Yes, uh, Game1.ph. Um, so, just a little bit of background. Game1.ph is the same. Uh, Game1 is also iTech, right? So, if you look for iTech's uh, Facebook, right? Um... iTech. Uh, ah, wala na silang... Dati pangalan nila iTech Game 1 eh. Game 1. Game 1 Gadget. There you go. So, this is iTech. I think, sineparate na nila yung branding, but it's the same owners. Game 1 is owned by iTech. So, Game 1 used to be called iTech, and then yung mga stores nila minsan may Game 1 pa, hindi iTech yung brand. So, ngayon pala, it looks like online na lang si Game One. This is this is their website. Sometimes, nag-order na ako dito. Eh. Um, nag-order ako ng mga Nintendo Switch accessories para sa pamangging ko. Bumili ako ng, alam mo eh, yung maliit na steering wheel <laughs> para sa Mario Kart. Para ma-enjoy niya ng konti yung Mario Kart. Yun. So, I order sometimes dito Game One. They order, uh, you can order online using credit cards, PayPal, whatever. Hindi ko naman ina-advertise, no? hindi naman ako bayad. But, if anybody's interested, maganda rin yung, the thing is, up to date sila. So if you want to be up to date with prices, up to date with devices or games and whatnot, dito yan, up to date sila. Up to date always kasi nagbebenta sila online. Um like I said, they're the same owners as iTech. So kung meron sa iTech, meron sa Game 1. Meron sa Game 1, meron sa iTech. Kung tinatamad ka pumunta sa mall, mag-order ka sa Game 1. That's basically it. Um hindi naman sila like hindi required na bumili ka dito like <laughs> 
Just tignan mo lang yung prices. Okay, ganito yung price ni uh, Uncharted Golden Abyss, 1,000. Oh, kung gusto ka, pwede ka na pumunta sa mall. Alam mo na yung price. Eh. Yan lang naman. Uh, where were we? Sabi ko na eh, iTech. Sister company ang iTech pagkalam. Yes, game 1 ang main. Yes. Okay, so nasa na tayo? Nokia 3.1. Hindi ba na pag-usapan? Hindi ba ito yung Android Go ba? Mm-mm. Nakiha natin ng konti. Chwink! Yan. Uh, this is a 14, 4, uh, 720p, 6750. Kalaban ni Redmi 6A. Siguro, but I would definitely won't recommend. Medyo masakit, masakit pa rin. Uh, ang baba talaga ng performance. Ilan to? This is Android Go ba? Uh, seven twenty p, thirteen megapixel, three gigs RAM. About three gigs RAM, at least nice. Ah, Android One nga. Wait, Android One or Android Go? No, it's Android One. Hindi ko parin masuggest ko yah. Medyo masakit. Masakit ito. Wait, Android Go or Android One? Anyway, wala nang definitely not in my recommended list. Kung sobrang gipit na gipit ka talaga sa pera mo, medyo... I, that's when we have you have to think about things. Pero at this point, not worth thinking about kasi I would not suggest it kung may pera ka lang. Na, kung may extra pera ka lang talaga, just go invest in a little bit more and you can get an amazing, much better phone. Uh, nasa na tayo? Meron, alam ko meron tayo. Yung Asus, just ko, hindi pa natin napansin. <laughs> Mi Max 3. Taposin natin sa Mi Max 3. Tapos last na natin si Asus. Oh my God. Alright. Uh, Mi Max 3 has been announced in China. Wala pa sa Pilipinas. But uh, somebody was really a big fan of Mi Max. So here it is, the Mi Max 3. It's a sna- it's an upgrade to a Snapdragon 636. 18x9 uh, ratio display. Walang notch. Right? Wala siyang notch, right? Yep, wala siyang notch. Um, let's see, 4 or 6 gigs, 64, 128 with micro SD, 12 plus 5 megapixel back, 8 megapixel front, uh, dual SIM LTE, uh, let's see, 5,500 milliampere hour battery. May headset jack, may 3.5 millimeter jack kaya siya. Let's see. Uh, headphone 3.5 millimeter yon ah oh, meron siyang headphone jack ano pa Oreo it has uh it shoots 4K 30 fps nice mm. and then ang estimated price is 13,005 that's not bad that's pretty good actually so it's like this. It's a very similar product to this guy. May battery pa ba ako? May battery pa ako! Yay! Very similar to this. Um, tiga lang. <laughs> I'm trying to get the brightness right para para makita nyo. Very similar to the Redmi Note 5, uh, which is 12,000 pesos, right? Um, 3,000, oh wait, 4,000 milliampere battery, Snapdragon 636, dual camera back with AI, single camera in front, um, Snapdragon 636. I don't remember, I think this is a 6-inch display, not, holy, what, 7-inch display? And laki, holy crap, what the fuck? He's a big boy, isn't he? Ang laki, tablet na yan, kuya. Huwag na yan. Oh my gosh. Ang sakit. Ang laki niyan. <laughs> Medyo mabi. <laughs> Grabe, alauna na. Diyos ko, dai. Okay. Um, Mi Max 3. Um, ang laki, 7 inch, 6.9 inch. Yikes, dude. Um, I would stick with the Redmi Note 5. Proven na yung Redmi Note 5. I'd go with the Redmi Note 5. I still am very impressed with the camera of the Redmi Note 5. So, totoo lang. Very impressed. Wala nang talagang stabilization. Um, magagawa naman paraan. 
Uh, Alright, so that's the Mimax stream. <laughs> He's a big boy. The big boy. Alright, last topic. The X560UD. I have an email from Asus about this. Dito na lang ba tayo sa Yuga Tech magbabas sa forever? Uh, Asus uh, X560UD Okay Baka may specifics eh Baka may pricing sila ng bago Okay, tignan natin to Oink Alright um, Back to school promo Wala na, Bakit? Uh, forever 21 Okay, so bundled items Zen book is Ano? Forever 21 Accessories Eh, ano ba yan? Other notebooks guess on Asus bag So, ito yung mga prices nila Hindi <laughs> Napakadaling basahin na, no? Alam na alam mo yung specs pag binasa mo TP401CA-EC0090 with pen Obviously Right? Sinong, bakit hindi mo alam kung ano specs ng TP401CA-EC0090 with pen? Ha? Huh? Hindi ka updated, kuya. <laughs> oh, sakit na. Ito pala. Ito, 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 ito. Here we go. 560 UD. 560. Ah, isa lang yung 560 UD dito. Wait, baka meron pa iba. Walang tinulong. Walang tinulong ang ating search. Hindi <laughs> na, di tayo natulungan. Basahin na lang natin sa Yuga Tech. <laughs> ang dami tinulong, kuya. <laughs> Ni talaga ako blogger. All right. Um Asus 560UD short slimmer version ng 570UD. I uh, heard they will launch Nokia 3.1 next month or September as per. Wag na wag, wag mo nang wag ka nang magtanong. Wag, hindi bar, kuya barista, medyo mababa yung specs eh. Ganun kung ganun ka tight yung budget mo kailangan natin mag but Hopefully, I would really, really, highly, highly suggest umabot ka ng 7,000 to 8,000 peso price point and malaki na night and day difference in terms of performance. Pumili ka ng Redmi S2 or Redmi Note 4X. Night and day performance. Kahit hindi Android 1 yan, unfortunately. But nasa price point ka na hindi masyadong ano eh. Not, not mas- you don't have much choice. You have to buy the one with... Uh, better specs otherwise you're going to suffer very very hard when it comes to performance and hindi lang yung tipong ah hindi ako nag-game siya okay lang yun no 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 just ito lang yung yung 6A nahirapan na ako mag-open ng apps I don't want I don't want that kind of performance to befall upon anybody kasi hindi magiging hindi magiging uh, maganda hindi nag-iisip ako ng magandang term eh. hindi maganda yung experience na lang when it comes to that and uh, kung gusto mo uh, hindi mo may enjoy yung experience is what I'm pointing so uh, yung ganito yung ganito ka budget phone hindi mo may enjoy yung experience konting dagdag na lang may sobrang malaki na enjoyment mo with the phone just an extra 2,000 pesos 2,500 malaki na yung big yung improvement in, in, your, in your enjoyment of the phone kung ganun kahirap makakuha ng extra 2,500 that's when we need to think about it but Highly suggest you just invest another 2,500. Malaking difference. Malaking difference. Alright, so Asus Philippines has just released a budget-oriented gaming laptop. So this is interesting. Ang gusto ko makita yung actual likod niya. Ano to? Ang pangalan? X560 UD. So, spoiler alert na. Spoiler lang talaga dito sa laptop na to. Ang processor niya is not for high-end gaming high end performance. Ang processor niya is maganda yung design ha, actually. Yung processor niya is more for ultrabook and ang ultrabook pr- processor is not for full blast high end performance. It's more for saving battery life. So, yun lang major clincher nitong laptop na to. It's not it's not a full blast gaming laptop, okay? However, Meron siyang GTX 1050. Meron siyang GTX 1050. Which means, kahit na hindi full blast yung processor niya, 
the graphics card can probably do good enough that you will be able to play games on it kahit hindi full blast si CPU. And uh, meron ako ni-review yung ganito. It's similar to the Acer na ni-review ko earlier this year. Uh, pang ultrabook yung processor pero meron siyang 1050 nakakapaglaro ako ng GTA 5 nakakapaglaro ako ng Rise of, the, Rise of the Tomb Raider kaya lang hindi umabot ng 60 FPS so nasa 30 FPS plus ako nasa 40-ish siya um, nakakapaglaro ako ng Watch Dogs 2 pero nilimit ko yung FPS ko to 30 FPS and nilagyan ko ng uh, laptop cooler sa ilalim para dum- kasi manip- manipis na manipis yung Acer laptop na ni-review ko so Kailangan ko ng extra cooling. But, my point here is, with the Ultrabook CPU, you can still play games with your 1050. And it's around, ako, I would say the performance is very similar to uh, yung, yung high full blast na processor na i5 na around 75% ng performance niya. As long as you can add the po- proper cooling to the CPU. So, Assume mo na that this laptop right here kailangan ng extra cooling para ma-full blast mo. Otherwise, hindi ma-full blast yung Ultrabook mo. Alright? Yes, uh, XXXU processor. Yes. So, the lowest end variant is uh, purportedly a 7200U. 7200. It's not even 8th gen. It's a 7200U. Sana naman ditong 8250U na. But... Like I said, it's only 40,000 pesos. So, keep in mind, the pricing here is 40,000 pesos. This is, without a doubt, the most affordable gaming laptop with a GTX 1050 sa Pilipinas. Without a doubt, the most affordable with a GTX 1050. Why? Because yung Acer na review ko nung earlier this year is like 65,000 pesos. 65,000 pesos. But then again, yung Acer na yun, it was a convertible. May touchscreen siya, may... Pen siya. So, nagpapamahal sa kanya is yung <laughs> yung Acer na yun had full aluminum body na sobrang tigas. That's what she said. <laughs> so, my point here is the reason why Acer's got it to be so affordable is first of all, maybe the the processor is much lower. The 7200U, malamang yung lowest end model nila. That's 40,000 pesos. Pangalawa, they used basically plastic parts here. Plastic. Not no complaints here. I, I'm okay with plastic as long as it's affordable, right? And mas magaan yan because plastic. Yun nga lang hindi siya ganun katibay. Mababagsak mo, matama mo siya, malaglag mo, malaglag sa table, malamang may crack. Um, but you know that's normal for most laptops, right? So uh, X6 X X X560. The name though, I like the design. I'm sure medyo papal papal pakito sa pagdating sa in person. Malamang medyo pag kinatok mo ng konti medyo pakat 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 mo na toks. Yeah, pakat 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 mo ganun siguro to pag kinatok mo. But at least in the in the pictures it looks really nice and I love the fact that there is no red accents. Hindi siya aggressive gamer design. Thank you. Thank you Asus. Thank you Lord. Thank you Alien. Hindi siya gamer accent. Thank you. Thank you Asus. For Christ's sake, thank you. So apparently it's on maybe it only comes in blue I don't know. Um, amazing performance according to this uh, blah 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 blah. Up to Core i7 and Core i7 yeah, is not the high end f- full power i7 it's the 8550U. Now, nakakatuwa dito is the 8550U is a, a what 6 core? 6 core 12 thread pero mababa yung pros, yung yung power requirement yung power level niya. Because it's meant for saving up battery, no? Um, but the 7200U naman, the 7200U is a 2-core 4-thread, 3.1 gigahertz. Uh, medyo mababa, but it can handle games, no problem. The one I reviewed was this. The one I reviewed was 8250U, which is a 4-core 8-thread. Wow! <laughs> Hopefully, malate lang yung difference between the 7200 and 8250 para mag-8250 ka na. Para yumaman ng konti yung processing performance mo. But keep in mind, like I said, most likely this will need cooling. Kasi many pieces this eh. And there it is. I like the design. It's pretty nice. It's pretty sleek. Medyo guapo. And uh, ang kailangan natin malaman yung specifics nung version. Okay, tingnan natin. Uh, Vilman. Meron ba sa Vilman ito? X560UD. Wala ata, no? Hindi siya available sa Vilman siguro. Damn it, wala. 
Uh, all right, Nano Edge 15.6 full HD, 7.9 millimeter Nano Edge bezel, blah 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 blah, crystal clear sound, blah 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 blah, and stay cool. Okay, laptop cooling is important because it directly affects performance. Ice cool technology uses smart fan control, ilang heat pipes. I want to know how many fans and yung design ng salikod, but wala, hindi na naman pa Specifications. Alright, tingnan natin. Alright, so ayun yung processor choices niya. Pinakamababa, 7200. Um, wala tayong pakialam sa Windows. Obviously, Windows yan. Um, up to 16 gigs of RAM. I wonder, siguro 4 gigs yung starting nito. Nasaan yung RAM? <laughs> Nasaan yung RAM? Up to 16 gigs. Wala siyang, wala siyang minimum. Um, wait a minute. Merong hindi IPS? Yun lang. Wait. Pero 45 45% NTSC pa rin. So you can get a 1050 with 4 or 1050 with 2 gigs. Both are both are pretty decent. No problems there. Uh, hard drives. Here we go. Siguro ito yung lowest end. 1 terabyte SSHD. Wait. No. Hindi siguro. Feeling ko ito yung lowest end. 1 terabyte 5400. Yan. Feeling ko yan yung lowest. Siguro. Hindi naman siguro bibigyan ng 500 gig, ano? Masyado nang mababa yun. Malamang ito 500 gig par paired with maybe 256 SATA or siguro, uh, SSD siguro. Um, and then the second highest end is 1 terabyte na 5400 SSHD. And then the the higher higher than that is 1, 128 with 1 terabyte. And then the highest siguro is 256 with 500. I don't know. Whatever. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad laptop for forty thousand pesos for sure. Because may ten minimum ten ten fifty k. Walang walang variant na walang GTX ten fifty. Yun ang maganda dito. And this this will this will do you fine. This will do you fine for most games. Wag ka lang mag PUBG kasi malakas sa CPU yung PUBG. Um, Tinesting ko na yung yung Acer na ni review ko sa PUBG hindi kaya. Nag overheat. Ah, uh, bawa yung frames. Kaya niya umabot ng 40 frames pag malamig. Pero hindi ko kaya i-cool masyado. Siguro, maybe Asus has got a better cooling solution. Gusto ko makita yung loob, but wala tayong magagawa. Hindi na mabuksan eh. Um, like I said, 40,000 pesos is a great price point for this. Um, bo kung, ka kung hindi ko man matesting yung thermal performance niya, kung hindi ko lang malaman yung, yung thermals niya, yung what not, I think this is a great laptop to recommend for a lot of gamers out there. 40,000 pesos, it gets you out uh, you, it's get your foot in the door. Your processor is not bad as long as you can you do some laptop uh, ano. Ang kailangan mo lang gawin diyan for advanced users. Well, hindi masyad, the number one thing you should do is add a laptop cooler. The number two thing you should do for a little bit more advanced user is da downvolt mo yung CPU mo. The when you downvolt your CPU, the 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 voltage that goes into it is slightly lower than usual and when the voltage is slightly lower than usual the temperature that your CPU goes to is slightly lower um, but kailangan mo i-testing muna if the lower voltage is kayang i-handle ng CPU right? medyo advanced little bit of trial and error there pero hindi siya makakasira ng CPU unless meron kang ginawang katanga <laughs> normally it's one point uh, ano ba yun? 1.25 volts or 12 point some, no 1.25 volts if I'm not mistaken or yeah 0.125 something like that so you just make it around 1.2 1.1 volts and then bababa ng konti yung temperature mo by at least around 5 5 degrees that's huge 5 degrees is huge anyway sorry major advance yun. um what's my point this is a very good entry level laptop for 40,000 pesos. Honest to goodness, 40,000 pesos, this is a very good entry level laptop. Um, I don't know. Like, is there something you would say you're not liking sa laptop na to? Holy shit, mag for 4 hours na tayo sa, sa BTS. Ayo. <laughs> show. Anyway, uh, ayo na. Let's let's end the topic again because I was waiting for comments, pero, questions. Pero I think that's a great entry level laptop. Uh, wong kailangan mong gawin like uh, sino nagsalita si Emak ba yon? Ah, hindi si uh, no. Ains Catastrophe, I remember. Si Ains daw meron silang biniling ganito in upgrade nila yung 
uh, SSD. And yung RAM is seemingly upgradable then sabi niya. So that's a very good thing because you buy the base model, you just buy an, uh, a RAM stick and an SSD stick, upgrade your system again. Medyo sad na baka maano yung warranty mo, pero it's annoying that most brands still do that. But hopefully Asus is a little bit more open when it comes to warranties like this. Tanongin mo sa bibilan mo if ah, malabo pa rin eh. Medyo y- it's tough, it's tough. But uh, if you're a little bit of a risk taker and you want to save a little bit money, buy the base model, upgrade mo yung CP, eh, yung, yung yung SSD, ilagay mo ng SSD and ilagay mo ng extra RAM para tumas yung performance. Alright, uh, th- that's it for the that topic. Hopefully, medyo na, na ano ka kayo dyan, na, 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 na enlighten na 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 kayo. <laughs> uh, sana quality pa rin. Don't worry, Asus is pretty decent. And they have their warranties and everything talaga. But you just need to extra... Ang siguradong min- kailangan mong gawin dito is extra cooling para makuha mo yung maximum performance ng system na yun. Alright, so it looks like we're winding down. Uh, konti na lang yung ating mga questions. Let's see what's going on here. And let's go full screen. Oh no, what's that button? No, it's an Acer live stream thing. <clears throat> A complink. There we go. Sige, tingnan natin si complink. Full specs ba to? Okay, so we have oh, 80 to 50 agad yung 40,000. Hindi siguro. Wait. Uh, get it as low for 40,000. Here are the specs of the X560. Sinabi niyo yung 80 to 50 u That's the i5 8 gen. Eh. 4 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte storage, 1054 gig. Full HD IPS. 2 year global warranty. Global warranty, that's nice. You may have a list with home credit. Wow. Dang, dude. Originally, I saw the end of July, which might have been recent. Stocks only began arriving. Blah, blah, blah. With SSD slot? Question mark. Yes. Oh, you sabi ni Complink, pwede mo yung upgrade. Oh, pwede ni Complink. At the best. Uh, honestly, I like Complink. Dito ko binili yung isa kong laptop sa kanila. Eh. Uh, long time ago. I think it was four years ago. Four years? I guess it was four years ago. Um, you can upgrade the RAM and SSD according to this. There. Uh, let's see. Another various configurations available. At the moment, there is only configuration available. Sooner, how will I the maintenance? This is not bad. Uh, I don't think the 8250U is going to be 40,000 pesos, though. Baka 45. Kasi sinabi nila 8250U. Dapat 7200. Starts at 7200U siguro. But I don't know. Let's let's give it... The, if we give them the benefit of the doubt and maybe this is the 8250U, that's a pretty good processor for 40,000 pesos. And you get a 4 gig 1050? Hindi siguro. Base, sa, tingin mo ba, sa tingin nyo, ito yung base model for 40,000. That'd be great. That'd be great. All right. Um, let's see here. Uh, okay, naman ang you medyo mabagal lang sa CPU pero siya gamit ko pang gaming ha sa mga ng 840M. There you go. There's some. Uh, uh, honestly, I play. I, you can play good games with the I uh, know the U processors. I have. Uh, I used to play games on my old uh, Asus uh, laptop na uh, 4200U. Nakapaglaro ako ng CS:GO. League of Legends and Dota 2. Um, kailangan mo lang ng extra RAM. Makakatulong yun. Um, and, nah, hindi, hindi masyado importante SSD. Um, ba, 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 let's see. Parang HP laptop lang ang sure and downside micro SD card siya. Ah, micro SD. Okay lang. Medyo, medyo, yeah, kung gumagamit ka ng cameras, kailangan gumamit ka na ng micro SD sa camera mo. Lagyan mo na lang ng adapter sa camera mo. Uh, pwede na for conscious, budget conscious pero I'm eyeing talaga Dell G7 G5 G7 walang G5 sa Pilipinas unfortunately but um, <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna uh, Kuya uh, this is ano uh, this is uh, 
do this at your own risk na lang. Do uh, do this at your own risk because meron akong alam na uh, yung t- pin- nilingkot to kay Kuya Norm so kahapon kanina eh. Uh, kahapon actually kasi ano na ngayon eh Sunday na ngayon. Uh, RS Gadgets. RS Gadgets. Kitang-kita mo kung nasan, di ba? This is Grey Market. Uh, Grey Market, pero kung gusto mo lang ng G7, G3, eh, nagtitipid ka talaga. Sin literal, nag-super tipid ka. Super duper tipid ka. I mean, wala naman masama sa Grey Market. Diyos ko, Grey Market yung laptop ko eh. Yung uh, Alienware ko, Grey Market eh. Ito yan. Uh, gusto mo makatipid. Ito. Uh, boom! Boom! G7, the one that you're looking for with a 1060 max Q. Ito yung high-end model nila. Ang official price nito sa SRP sa Pilipinas, ginawa ko ng, ginawa ko ng video yan. Ginawa ko ng, uh, ano, it's 9999999 pesos. <laughs> Nasaan na ba yun? Ginawa ko ng blog post yun. <laughs> Nasaan na yun? Ah, uh, ito, 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 ito. So, the one mo- the model I'm talking about is this one, the 9990. 99990 i7, right? So this is the model we're talking about. It comes with an 8750H, a 16 gig RAM, 256 SSD plus 1 terabyte and 1060 max Q, right? That's what we're talking about here. The official price of Filipinas is 100,000 pesos. 100,000 pesos. Um, but so RS gadgets Keep in mind, I'm pretty sure this is gray market. Same model, i7-8750. A- ah, 8 gigs lang ito. What? Bakit 8 gigs lang ito? Anyway, 8 gigs lang siya apparently. And 1060 max Q, 6 gig. At only 68,000 pesos. So, kung naghanap ka talaga ng super bargain, super bargain, and you're okay with gray market, ri- risk of gray market issues, um, pwedeng pwede to. I Honestly, ako, I would risk it. 30,000 peso difference, I would risk. I would hella risk it. Ito, may G5 din sila, oh. G5. Ay, hindi ko alam, hindi ako masyadong familiar sa prices ng G5. Uh, apparently, this is 63k. Wag na to. Doon ko na sa 68k ka na. i7, 8 gig. Oh, doon ko na sa, dito ka na, 1060 max ko yun, eh. Alright. Uh, meron pa to eh. G3. May G3 ba sila? Akala ko may G3 sila. May video sila in-upload ni Dabley. Uh, wala na ata. So, yun. Check mo RS Gadgets. Uh, akala ko may G3 pero wala, wala pa ng G3. May G5 sila if you interested ka. Um, okay naman dyan sa RS Gadgets at Jan Store. Dyan din ako nabili minsan. I see, I see. Yun. So... Like I said, may risk lang na wala, mahirap magkapawaranty. But, mura siya eh. 30,000 yung difference. Ang laki yung difference, dude. Sakit sa ano? Sakit sa bulsa. So, yun lang. Yun lang. That's how we'll end our show. Last, ano, last suggestion if you're really interested in the Dell G5, G7. Apparently, walang G3. Akala ko may G3. Alright, mga kuya. Lakas ang ulan sa labas. Narinig nyo ba yun? Diyos ko, grabe. Patayin ko aircon, ha? Ang lakas ang ulan, dudes. Man. Mga ganun sa amin, no? Alright, mga kuya. That's it for our show. Sobrang umabot tayo ng 4 hours ata. Diyos ko, 4 hours. <laughs> oh my God. Paano tayo umabot ng ganito? Ano nangyari sa atin, mga kuya? Hindi ako ko na makipagkwentuhan. 4 hours. Parang ka nakipag-inom, man. Okay mga kuya, thank you for watching. Hopefully marami kayo na, na pick up na informaciones and then yung hopefully you like their discussion about the uh, refresh rate, refresh rate. Uh, na, na-enjoy ko yun. Kasi yun yung, the, those, are the, the, those are the things I I really, really live for. Ano? Hindi yung um, what is it? Hindi yung para, para magsalita ako, magdaldal ako about it. Gusto ko yung discussion na ganun. Gusto ko merong back and forth. Gusto ko may tanong, merong sagot, merong, ah, maganda yung ganito. And then, marami sa inyo nakikipag-converse pa na, ah, gusto ko kasi ganito. O, diba? Gusto ko yung ganoon kasi, I'm a nerd. I'm a fucking nerd, bros. YouTube, don't demonetize me. Gusto ko yung ganong usapan kasi, well, 
wala naman ako masyadong kausap na ganun. Tayo-tayo lang nandito. Tayo-tayo lang nag-uusap ng mga ganun. It's a great way to share information to become what we are. Or, kung ako lang din, to become what I am, a nerd. I want to nerd out. I want to discuss frame rate. I want to discuss bottleneck. I want to discuss better PCs. I want to discuss force feedback on my freaking racing wheel. And I get to do that dito with BTS and you guys watch? That's awesome. That's awesome. So, swak, swak na swak. Like it. I like it. I enjoy that stuffs. Uh, salamat ko ya sa bottleneck at FPS topic. No problem mga kuya. No problem. Like I said, this all, uh, sa totoo lang, this kind of stuff is for me as well. You know, enjoy na enjoy ko yung ganitong usapan because there's very little places on, here in the Philippines, online or whatever, na merong ganitong diskusyones na medyo back and forth din, na medyo malu... Um, enjoyment, enjoyment. Usapang, usapang teki. Usapang teki na medyo maluwag. Alright, mga kuya, thank you very much for watching. Uh, special uh, special thanks to Kuya Norm sa kanyang moderation uh, powers. Kasi may binanata siya kanina. But uh, lahat ng nanonood, hindi ko naman mention lahat. Lahat ng mga nawala, nang medyo nanonood kanina, nawala. And lahat ng nanonood ngayon, maraming salamat. And uh, that's it for our uh, big time show for our episode. Diyos ko dahi. <laughs> Sa tingin ko, dapat di na tayo ng box ng Redmi 6A kasi sobrang malaki kinain na oras. <laughs> Alright guys, eh, pero I like your I like our uh, secondary camera. It's, it's, there you go. That's our secondary webcam right there. Thank you very much for watching and uh, hopefully you enjoyed and uh, we'll see you again hopefully next week kung meron mga topics we'll do our announcement of course on the Big Time Show Community uh, Facebook group. Alright guys thanks ulit and see you ulit next time. Bye! Thank God hindi pumalpak yung ating stream. <laughs> uh -huh.